Hello! Welcome back to random minigames. And also, crime happens sometimes, I guess. Don't mind me. Tales of Crestoria stuff. I should be- I, I should probably just be fed up with this game at this point. I spent so many fucking jewels! Or gleamsto- gleamstones. Let's think about these. They can't even have, like, a universal gacha currency. They all try and have some kind of different bullshit to make their stuff sound different or fancier, and it's not different. It's never fucking different. I spent so much shit and got no Mikleo. And now I have none left over for the Halloween stuff, but that's fine. I don't know who the Halloween characters are anyway. What am I doing? Yakuza. Hi, secret. Fix my uh, my layout one. Had to have a good stream. Working on school, Shakiba. Yeah, I saw that. This the struggle to uh to pull yourself away from New Horizons long enough to do your homework. Best of luck. Your pumpkin patch will be fine for a little bit. Remember to take plenty of breaks and stay hydrated. Speaking of pumpkin patches, I got to start on. I have, uh, I still have not touched it since, uh, since the new update. And, uh, that, that's no bueno. I gotta be ready to celebrate my in-game birthday, because apparently they do cool stuff when that, uh, for that. Uh, oh yeah, the most recent one. Doi. Hey, Janene. Alrighty. Let's see. I believe I was in the middle of trying to, uh, finish up a, uh, a disco quest specifically. I think I'd just done the minigame a couple times in a row to try and trigger it. Now I have to go back in there. Hi, Abyss. How you doing? Get in the fucking pumpkin patch. Colin. Fucking working on your island, getting closer to how you want it, Kiwi. Oh yeah, yeah, I know that. I know that feeling too. Like I said, I, I finally paid off my um my uh, my home loan. Now it's just a matter of getting into the game and uh, staying into it long enough to you know keep uh, doing stuff to earn money every day. Let's see, you you're new. You weren't here last time. Hi, bestie. Oh, there you are. Hello. Hmm? You talking to me? I've had my eye on you for a while, you know. You really suck at this minigame, but your dance cut style is quite fascinating. Who's your mentor? Ah, uh, a couple of Power Rangers. It's actually more of a self-taught style. Well then, you have a natural-born talent for dancing. You really think so? Sarcasm will get you nowhere. Oh, yes. You have rough edges, but with a little polish, you have the potential to dazzle. A diamond in the rough. That's you. What's poopin', JC? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Never been called a diamond before. Just who are you? Huh? You dance here, but you don't know who I am? Eh. <laughs> Sorry, not a clue. Oh, I beg your pardon. I'm Isobe. I have a certain amount of uh, notoriety in the local dance scene. Isobe, huh? Can't say I've heard that name before. I see. I guess I still have a ways to go. So anyway, what can I do for you, Mistress of the Dance? You know anything about dance battles? Um, I watched you got served once on an airplane. I was not impressed. What is it with dance battles these days? I miss being able to solve disputes with good old-fashioned fists. I figured as much. You don't know who I am, and you don't know dance battles. You really don't know anything about the dance world. DDR episode? Yes, actually. Eh, never called me it caused me any problems before. Well, that's okay. I'll teach you. In a dance battle, two dancers square off and dance at the same time to determine who's better. The dancer who pulls off the most elegant steps and gets the crowd raving uh, is the victor. You had a job interview today, Pumpkaboo? Oh, congrats! You were nervous? I can't blame you. Job market's scary right now. I'm sure you killed it, though, Pumpkaboo. You're a smart, you're a smart noodle. Ryoma's fiancé, probably. Goddamn, Ryoma. Do I mean, I'm not, I'm not surprised he can do that well for himself. He's a wonderful man, but goddamn. All right, I get the picture. Sounds fun. I'm gonna suck. 
Yes, fun doesn't begin to describe it. Yeah, I know, because I'm terrible at it. You're gonna challenge me to a dance battle. Oh, I'd love to do that, but until you get better, I'd only wipe the floor with you. I shatter your confidence. Are you serious with that? Yes, you really do suck that badly. Mm. Look, even if I wanted to, this is Maharaja. It's hollowed ground for dancers. I doubt the others would stand by and let an unknown like you dance with me. What, did some got some kind of hierarchy? Oh my gosh, it's Missy Sobe, the great Missy Sobe. Simple art, simple art. Missy Sobe, I'm honored to meet you. I'm Kengo, I'm a huge fan of yours. Is that so? How charming, thank you. Missy Sobe, seeing you dance was a revelation. Ever since that day, I've been coming here to work on my dancing. I want to keep improving so one day I can earn the privilege of dancing with you, Missy Sobe. Actually, I've noticed you on the dance floor, Kengo kun You've got some pretty slick moves. Really? You're serious? I do whatever this pose in jubilation. I caught the eye of Missy Sobe. This is a dream come true. How about that? You really are some kind of famous. Now do you see? Famous doesn't even begin to describe Miss Sobe. To the dancers here at Majora Maharaja, she's a goddess. Well, maybe that's a bit much. Anyways, the goddess spun the threads of fate into a dance against my lowly human presence. I don't know. Oh, what are you saying? The how you off the sky? <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> oh, oh shit, that was Ascora. Edelgard the Great, oh my god! <laughs> Why are there so many Edelgard all? <laughs> what is happening? Yeah, I'll take that one for free. Only chose if you could dance with Missy Sobe. If you insist, you'll have to go through me first. Yes, Who died and made you the gatekeeper? Sam! <laughs> well, that could be fun. Kanko Kun's a good dancer. I think you would match up well in a dance battle. I have graced you. Thank you. Thank you for uh, thank you for your uh, your graceliness. Your grace. <sighs> this is turning into a circus. Why do I? Do <laughs> the fucking timing of this shit. Sometimes I swear to God. What was it yesterday? I made a fucking Kool Aid joke, and then Emma said, "Oh yeah." Why does this keep happening? Fucking sure. <laughs> All right, let's get it on. Oh, baby, let's get it on. How's it going, Huntering? I'm doing all right. How about yourself? <laughs> What'd you miss, Casey? Not much. We're about to have a dance battle. We got to dance our way to the top two uh, to fight this lady. I'm going to enjoy this. I can tell. I want to take you home. Hmm. <laughs> All right, let's see how bad I am. I have not practiced at all. I said something about doing stuff off screen. I did not do shit. God. Anytime I try to do extra, I fuck up. <laughs> somehow. <laughs> Luckily, he sucks worse than I do. <laughs> oh, yeah, the fact that his little, uh, his little guide has a must, has a mustache, has a, uh, an eye patch is fantastic. <laughs> yeah, 
Guess I win somehow. Keep forgetting to use the remote. Yeah, I was. I noticed that like in the. I, I barely noticed that like in the the top corner. I was like, oh shit, what button is that? I tried to hit it and uh, it did not work. So whatever button it is, I forget. <laughs> Guess I win. I lost. I didn't think you'd be such an amazing dancer. It is L1. I thought I pressed L1. It may have been R1. I'll try again next time. I'm going to have to keep doing this for a bunch of different quests, I'm sure. <laughs> Bravo. That was wonderful. Sparks were flying. Missy Sobe. I think this man has real potential. He does, doesn't he? Hey, man. We share the same dance floor. We share a kinship. Could I get your name? Oh, I guess I didn't catch your name either. Oops, never introduced myself. I'm Majima. Majima, huh? I don't know how a dancer as good as you could escape my notice. Missy Sobe, I'm gonna spread word about Majima san to the other Maharaja dancers. Please don't. I'm kind of I'm kind of in a tight spot right now. They're gonna know his name soon. I'm actually kinda of harboring a few oh, okay. All your horses! I got enough notoriety right now, thank god. You just joined the ranks of the famous, though I don't know about the rich. Maybe we get a chance to take me on soon. Oh, right. No names not allowed the privilege of having a dance battle with you. But after that display, I'd give you a yen for your thoughts. I'm afraid you're not quite ready. You'd still have to beat the band second only to me and Maharaja reputation. And who's the lucky fella? When you gain a little more experience and smooth out your rough spots, I'll introduce him to you. Well, you know. Alrighty then. Challenge accepted. This dance and things more fun than I gave it credit for. At least not being a bitch about losing. Oh, totally. That's good. Look forward to seeing you again, Majima Kun. Oh God, Queenie. Um, it's uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's a wonderful costume. It's appropriately horrifying. Very nicely done. <laughs> It's horrible, but it, it's supposed to be, though. It's a, it's a Halloween costume. It represents the true spirit of Halloween as, as it was originally supposed to be. Terrifying. Let's see. Do I have to actually practice more, or can I go in and come back? I doubt, like, if I do just have to come back, I doubt it's a passive time thing. So before I do that, let me, uh, go back and check on the, uh, the weapons I was supposed to be scouting for. And also possibly the, uh, the arcade lady. Ah! Hoodlums! Get over here! Damn it! Ugh. Oh. I just realized my cats but my cats are both passed out down here again. I apologize, they are probably gonna one out at some point. I don't know why they're spending so much time down here lately. But they are both passed the fuck out. You got a feeling, Casey? Is it that tonight's gonna be a good night? You think it's Pumpkaboo? There's no way. Pumpkaboo's got no patience for these shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> Such a sweet comment. <laughs> I like to think I know people. Wonderful quote you enjoyed. The only way we can live is if we grow. The only way we can change is grow is if we change. The only way we can change is if we learn. The only way we can learn is if we are exposed. And the only way we can become exposed is if we throw ourselves into the open. Do it. Throw yourself. 
Like uh, like off uh, like off a bridge. <laughs> yeah, it can't be the best. He hates Twitter. Oh shit, that reminds me, Bestie. I meant to send you a thing. Yeah, no, be because I, be Bestie, because I know you don't Twitter anytime I find cute Kamen Rider fan art, I, uh, I mean to send it to you, and I forgot to send some stuff to you. An artist I follow for, uh, for Deno stuff specifically has actually been doing some Agito stuff, too. Of the, uh, the main trio. Just doing some cute bullshit. And also, uh, and also Shoichi pinning, uh, Hikawa, <laughs> pinning Hikawa to a wall by lifting one leg all the way up. For dominance. All right, let's see. I was looking for a broadsword, but I didn't, didn't seem to get it that time. So let's, uh, so let's, so what? Yeah, yeah let, let's keep sending fate. Yeah, let's keep, let's keep sending the political activists to China. What could go wrong? Speaking of Twitter, I can use your art account for the link. Oh, that's right, JC. You have two separate Twitters now. Okay. Is your uh, is your art one um in your uh, your regular one's profile somewhere? I will make sure to update the inscription to uh, to link to that one instead. Have a great day with the Lang fan. With the family Lang agrees your ways the right way. Oh well, if Lang if Lang says so, then I then I really can't argue with that. You got it, Queenie. Let's see. Oh, no. I wanted to go to uh, Sega Land again. Nah, there's no, there's no changing China. Mickey Mouse and uh, Randy Marsh have their, uh, have their hands in it. Hi, Majima -san. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Mm -hmm. Huh? Oh, I thought I just had to keep talking to you. Do I actually have to keep playing these games? Also, Pooh Bear, yeah. I guess I have to keep playing Space Harrier. First song that comes to my head, uh, Smell of the Game. That is the one that's been most consistently stuck in my head the last few days. Welcome to the Fantasy Zone. Get ready. I don't have it in me to make AVGN jokes again. Mostly because I just marathon a bunch of AVGN episodes. Oh god, this thing, that's right. Ah! <laughs> Get ready. Everyone really likes Sakurai with that sword, yeah. I can't I can't wait for Dante to get in and have her hand to pull out his uh, his replica of rebellion. And Ebony and Ivory. That's totally gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. I've given up on the power of hopes and dreams. What have they got me? What of the power? I, I, I've, I've always been hopes and dreams, hopes and dreams, and where's it got me? It got me a Travis Me Fighter costume that doesn't even come with a song. I'm Nihilus Nova now. Can I actually hit this thing? Thank you. Oh, it took you a while to notice that, Pumpkaboo? No, that, that's been a thing. Um, apparently at some point after, uh, after Joker got in, the, uh, the ESRB, which is the American Ratings Board, 
they uh, they changed their policy so that even just using a logo from an M-rated game ups the uh, ups the rating of any presentations or trailers. So all the American versions that have had uh, M-rated uh, M-rated content, I have no idea how that works. Cause yeah, like <laughs> I have no idea how that's gonna. I have no idea how that's going to work if we ever get another M-rated fighter. Like, that's going to be super awkward, or the trailer's going to have to be rated M. Because <laughs> it's so stupid. It's like, that doesn't... Like, just because you don't show the actual franchise name, people can still look this shit up very easily. Like, it's not making it any more or less likely for kids to see. But yeah, no, that's why, that's why he was just Travis. And not No More Heroes. Smash Bros. X Sub Zero, fucking right. Smash Bros. X Doom guy. Only the American version, yeah, no. In in the European, in both the uh, the European version and um, what's it called? In, in both the European and Japanese version, it was still, it was the series names. It's just an American thing. I don't know why. You already at me in the post. Okay, cool, JC. Thank you. All right, yeah, I will. Um, I will fix that YouTube description as soon as the uh, the stream's over tonight. I promise. And I'm gonna retweet that because you deserve it. Mortal Kombat's definitely not gonna happen. Um, probably not. I said I said that if any um any other Western or uh, non Japanese reps got in, it was gonna be either Master Chief or uh or a Mortal Kombat rep. Uh, now it's Steve's, and absolutely not. <laughs> I feel like we I feel like we had one shot. I feel like we have one shot at a non-Japanese rep per pass. And uh and Steve is it. Boy, you must sure like this game, Majima san. Oh, does your sub run out, Casey? Oh yeah. Yeah, heads up to everyone. The um the uh what's it called? The uh the, the gifts the other gift the hundred gift sub apocalypse <laughs> from that one night of uh, Ace Attorney. Uh that is about to run out. So um <laughs> Yeah, a, 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 lo a lot of eggs about to about to go away. Just a heads up to anyone who got one when that happened. I can still do better. I can feel it. I actually did worse than I did the first time somehow. <laughs> I think I'll be able to get a good score soon. Just you wait and see. Looking forward to it. Fortnite rep soon. I mean, the, pessis the pessimist in me doesn't doubt it at this point because uh, the universe has clearly proven it's out to uh, to get me and make me suffer. But, um, the time is up and you will say, your darling son, Rex. Oh my god, is Rex your kid, Queenie? Oh my god, that explains so much. Oh, JC, what are you doing? Crazy Uncle JC! Got you, has got your back, Casey. You've, you, you've, you've regained your power. Thank you very much, JC. Goddamn. If Bayonetta was DLC, now it would be Smash and Bayonetta. I don't, we don't know. Because, um... There was something in, um... There there was, like, one character they showed off in, um... There was a character they showed off back when Min Min got announced. You wanted bits to <laughs> I'm so sorry, JC. Um, there was, like, a me costume or something they showed off back when Min Min got announced that made it so that the, uh, the presentation was rated E to teen instead of just E. So, like, they are willing to let the presentation change rating if it absolutely has to i guess but i don't it's it's weird it's a be, be, like i said be, because it changed after joker was in we have no idea how that'll work if a fighter actually gets in the way i understand it is it's actually it really is just the logos like they'll be able to say the the series name they just can't show the logos which is asinine if that's legit But whatever. Almost like American censorship is stupid. That can't be true. Let me actually check out this uh, this darts bar. I thought it was just a restaurant, but apparently there's going to be mini games and shit here too. Article is the damn serious name. Yeah, yeah, no, like <laughs> it, it, it's an incredibly stupid policy. Would you like to play darts? 200 per game.
who's in charge of the American rating system again if the government is involved. I do think there are certain like government mandates in place, but um, as far as I know, no direct influence. But yeah, it's like it's it's just a, it's just a very dumb thing. Um, freaking. I'm playing by these rules because I remember these are the same ones that uh, Persona 5 Royal had. Uh, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Gasping for lying to me is fine. They're, okay, like, I, I keep hearing contradicting- I, I keep hearing contradictory information about how he's doing. And so, I, I- it could go either way. Either he's full of shit and was never actually sick, period. Or, uh, or he's gonna fucking die. Um, at this point, I don't care which. Uh, I'm an awful person or something. Yeah, he got discharged from the hospital day and immediately um, went to the White House for a photo op on the uh, the balcony. And, uh, and took off his mask and waved at the cameras. Oh, God, look how, look at his, like, gross, super real. Majima. Majima. Uh... Shit, I should have actually read the buttons. Oh, there we go. Okay. Select darts, aim, throw power. Oh, R. That's weird. Okay. Hey! Remove darts. Posting her acid rock. Album covers mother posted. Oh, the OG queen. Oh, God. What is this, a Pink Floyd album? What am I even looking at? Ugh. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever happens, happens. Like I said, I'm not, we, you know, you know me. We don't dwell on pet politics here. But yeah, whatever happens, happens. Oh, damn. Ugh. That's what you meant by acid rock? That would be, that would be the term for it. Oh, same JC. Some fucking quality Hina and Sakura. Yeah, I cannot get a uh, cannot get a handle on uh. Oh, never mind. I guess I can. On the uh, throwing on this one. Okay, Surah, Surah. Whatever will be, will be. Come what may and all that. That you're not because you're in conflicting emotions depending on what scene you're referring to. All. Dang and Rampa was a fucking journey, man. Oh, I I guess that was my turn limit, and I guess I won. Oh, Agent Lang, greetings. Welcome back, sir. How goes your investigation? Closed any big cases lately? Hope you enjoyed the game. By the way, it's just the first time in our bar. 
Yeah, I thought I'd try something new for a change. Huh, I see. Let me give you these. Slightly better than those from the middle half starts. And I can keep them? But of course. Looking forward to seeing you again. Hey, thank you. I can actually hold the right stick to aim slightly better. Oh, can I? Okay. Alrighty, good to know. Alright, well, we'll be back here later. Wait a minute, who are you actually? I see you got a steady hand. But I'm running to bet 100,000 yen. You can't beat me at a count up. Uh, not right now, sir. No confidence, eh? No, not really. Is this fun? Eh, it's all right. <laughs> not my favorite of the minigame. For being terrible at Space Harrier, I think I actually enjoyed Space Harrier more than that. Or bowling. I, I, I'm very anxious to, uh, to get back to, uh, granted, I don't know, like, again, I, I don't think, I don't think I'm at, like, any kind of point of no return. But, like, the fact that Kiryu did essentially kind of flee the city... Has me, has me kind of worried, and I, and I kind of wish I had, uh, I had done more with his, uh, what's it called? Um, uh, the real estate minigame. Because I think what we're about to do is focus pretty much, I, I advertise this the way I did in the announcement for the reason. I think what we're about to do here is focus pretty much entirely on, uh, finishing up, uh, sub-stories, maxing out people's friendship meters and whatnot. And, um, I'm doing more of the, uh, the Cabaret Club. I close this much. But all I see are a bunch of suitcases. That's how many I close. I don't get it. One of them made you get drunk, did it, bestie? Oh my god. That's pretty funny. I'll beat you up. I need to get more food. Thanks for my help. It never gets any less painful to look at. Like, good God. You get less money on Majima's side, which is clever. What would what would the uh, like the in-story reason be for him getting less? Just the fact that it's not real estate. I... Or no, because I mean, I think you're you're just referring to in general like beating people up, right? Like actually the fights themselves give give him less money. Why would that be? I'm dumb. Let's see. Did I get it this time? I thought I saw Chinese broadsword. I admittedly glossed it very quickly. That's a double Chinese broadsword. Pretty sure that's different. I mean, I'll try buying it. Oh, no, I already have one in my inventory, apparently. <clears throat> He's running a club that's barely scraping by. Oh, oh, the sunshine, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, we are, we are definitely not making him as much money from that as we were from real estate. All right, uh, political activist keeps letting us down. Let's send the prince. A prince in China will surely fare better than a, pol than a political activist in China. You think Edgeworth killed Lang? Oh, no. 
what a um uh tra uh tragic tragic turn of events. <laughs> Yeah, I, 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 I have no words. He, um, he lived a warrior and died a hero. No, wait, that's Dinobot. Um, I, I liked his, uh, his double eye patch sunglass things. They were cool. Yeah, speaking of the the club that's barely screaming out, like I said, I I apologize, but it's gonna be another one of those with um with very little progress. It's so sad that what happened to Yagaruma is worse. Fucking right. Fucking fucking Lang was like Lang was a fucking clown, and he gets to die this tragic, cool death. Yagaruma was actually a cool guy. And yet he got the worst fucking ending possible. Like, good god. Hi, pro help. Took a nap and probably just gonna lurk. No worries, my dude. You have earned it. Hope you feel better. Go back to sleep if you need to. We all have those days. Remember, I, I just had one of those days on Sunday. Oh shit, Sebastian's taking over Lang's account. Found this next to his dead body. He's currently being rushed to the hospital. Oh god, oh, oh god, oh, oh shit, he's alive. I mean, oh yay, he's alive. I mean, yes. I know we're, I know we're all relieved. Let us breathe a sigh of relief. <sighs> Waluigi is so ugly he'd fit in with Bizarro Kryptonians. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Oddly specific comparison. Alright, let's see. Oh man. Okay, so um so if I if I take them off duty for the night, that'll give them time to recover, right? Missed a lot during your absence, Nathan. Hey, welcome back. Sebastian gave me your adoption papers. <laughs> Too late. You can't have him. I already formally adopted him. That's my baby. Uh... I hope that's all it takes to get them back up to full health is give them an eye off. The Obatarian, you can have the Obatarian, sir.
playing in French, so yeah, I keep looking away. Yeah, I can see how that'd be rough. Oh, no, no. What do you need? What the hell does that mean? Ladies' glass? Ice refill. One of these days I will learn these signals. I'm afraid- I'm afraid to do it at all off-screen. Because of the, uh, the what's-it-called progressing. Oh yeah, yeah, Pro Help, they changed it. They totally changed it in the remaster. Yeah, they totally changed it from Sudoku. Tao. That one I know. Ooh! Tao? You got it. No idea if this is a good time to use it or not, but a lot of the girls were hurting and we got four people in here. We got an almost full house. The answer is literally password. Yeah, yeah. Um. Hmm. Uh, let's 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 just praise her. The odds of them extending their sessions right now seems pretty uh pretty low. It seems like keeping the girls happier might be a little more important this early on. Ever oh man, she's popular. Everyone likes the granny. Let's see, that's ladies' glass, right? Oh man, Lang last got an email from Clown Gaga. That's no bueno. Um, L for ladies' glass. I think I've tried that before and it's not it. Oh no, guest glass. Okay. Well, oh, I just realized the time limit stops when I'm in this mode. So I actually don't have to, uh, don't have to rush and learn the hand signals. Um. Oh, I can't. Uh, he's happy, though. Shouldn't he be? Um. I guess, I guess just thank you. Like, why does, he, why does he look so happy if he's... Okay. He's a very confused man, apparently. Oh, nobody's gonna be happy here. Uh, Yuki, try your best. Oh, L for ladies' glass. I just saw this and yet I already forgot. No, guest glass. Is it because the guests are losers? Holding up an L for their glass because they're losers. Rude. Oh shit, they left on their own. That's probably bad. Wait, what? <laughs> Why is that what? I don't understand what I do wrong. Yeah, yeah, I knew this wasn't gonna go well. 
申し訳ございませんありがとうございます Oh <laughs> Standing up for Yuki、uh, Put him in a better mood apparently Uh, ashtray? Fuck. I think you get like. I, I can't quite tell, but I think you just get like bonus points if you get it without, um. Without getting to the point where they actually tell you what it is. So it is still smart to learn them. <laughs> Anyone else gonna pop in in time? Probably not. Let's just do this one more time. We're in the money. Come on, honey. We got a lot of what it takes to get along. They get more HP if I do it fast? Okay, alright. So, yeah, I do still want to learn the signals. Alrighty. Oh, I forgot to do special training with Ryuki. God damn it. I was like, shit. Like, there was something else I'm supposed to do before I actually open. God damn it. Bleh. <laughs> Congratulations, Majima san. We top 500 fans for the bar Club Mars area. Nice! I bet Hino's not a happy camper right now. Well, it's Sailor Mars. He's never happy. He's not going to stand for this. I'm sure he'll try something. Also, Dolly's level 3. For sure, we might try, uh, he might try botching in here again. That'd be bad. Do you think we should keep the doors locked? Um, you donkey dong! How are customers gonna get in? <laughs> oh, shit, you're right, you're right. Then what are we gonna do? Oh, I know. Why don't we go check out Club Mars? Huh? Go to Club Mars? Yes, we're going up against them. It might be a good chance to research what kind of Hino man Hino is and what Club Mars is like. That ain't half bad, Yoda-chan. Let's go take a look at when we get some look when we get some time. <laughs> yes, let me know when you'd like to go. Oh, okay. We actually already pro 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 progress already, I guess. Alrighty. Donkey dong, donkey dong. Majima is a man after my own heart. Let's go ahead. We can actually progress already. Let's fucking do it. We're gonna have to challenge him to karaoke. Alright. <laughs> Check out Hino over at Club Mars. Good idea. Let's get going. Donkly dog. So this is Hino's Club Mars. Hi. Wow, it's really flashy. Yeah, it's a damn eyesore. Hurts to look at it. Hey, someone's coming. Thank you very much. See you, see you soon, I hope, Tabata-san. You've got a very pretty dress. Speaking of Sailor Mars... Yeah, of course. I'll come back as soon as I can make it, I, John. <laughs> Wonderful. I'll be waiting for you. Uh? Oh, God. Was he? I think he was just Rex, right? Just <laughs> fucking look at him. Damn, I did that dead a favor and said I to his table, but he didn't spend jack. Uh -huh. He knows, son. Who the hell does he think he is treating I like that? She's the number one girl of Club Mars! Then don't assign her to people who are brand new, who you have no idea how much money they have? Hi! I don't want to deal with cheap kids like that anymore! Got it? Um, but Tabata-san is a long-time regular, and he mentioned his fiance his finances were tight this month. His fiance was tight this month. I hope not. Cry me a river! If he doesn't get the cash now, he's useless! Businesses don't run on kindness to poor parasites! <laughs> I want you serving the fat cats, because you know that's what makes the world go round! Money, 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 money! Oh. You wanna, you wanna, you wanna switch sides, a girl? Oi. Listen up, maggot! I am so glad that's an M. We'll need higher end liquor in the club, and let's pimp out the interior. Use gold leaf or something! Yes, sir. What's with this asshole? He's got another thing coming if he's that fixated on cash. Hino thinks money can solve anything, including how to run Club Mars as a business. So he spends as much time as he needs to and gets more and more customers to become the popular club. He's actually spent a small fortune to attract girls from other clubs. That's why the quality of his talent really sets the bar. 
but the girls who the undisputed number one at Club Mars is I, who's been working there for a long time. Mr. Krabs bubble bath fused together, basically. What do you got, Queenie? Sorry. Sorry, I've been busy with some of this stuff. It's required my attention. Oh, God! Oh, Queenie, no! That's a married woman there. That lady, that young lady is actually for Dimitri only. She, she's the number one at Club Moss. Did Hino drag her along in, on the golf paid road too? No, she seems to be the lone exception. Apparently, she simply wanted to work at a cabaret club and just applied. The girl who walks in off the street winds up making more money than girls she spends tons of money to recruit. The irony of it all. That's par for the course. Can't expect girls who'd betray their clubs for cold hot cash to provide excellent customer service. But that girl, she seems so nice. She's cute, too. Wish a girl like that would come and work for us. Yuki and the others are a bit... plain. Hey, watch it! Dolly is perfect, thank you very much. See that kind of stuff in front of Yuki, you're dead meat. Hmm, what's going on over there? Oh! Oh. <laughs> that was my impression of you. Do you know them, sir? No, just two buzzing flies that need to be swatted. Here's another job for you. Go exterminate them. Yes, sir. Let's go, why? Oh, okay. Um, are we having an issue with bugs in the club? <laughs> Whoa, this is bad. Let's get out of here. Man who spends all his money on fools is all, is, is all the more fool. What are we going to do, Majima-san? I'm going to take care of him. You make yourself scarce, Yoda-chan. Okay. I got this dog. Is there life on Mars? I mean, if you can call this life. Where was it? Where was it? We actually found signs of life again recently. It was Venus, not Mars, right? Business battle music, is that what this is? I was gonna say, this is, this is snazzy. I'd say I need to start learning the names of these songs so I can put Kiryu on my, um, on my, uh, Smash thing, but, um, at this point, like I said, I'm, uh, <laughs> I, I, I can't hope. I have no hopes. I made, I, I joked about making my worst case scenario pass, and at this point, I'm just like, no, I'm gonna believe that's actually gonna happen. Uh, I'm, I, I, like I said, this is nihilistic, Nova. Man, that was rough. I, I, I can't, I can't be hurt again. I can't. <laughs> Majima, are you okay? Yeah, I'll live. Hino from Club Mars, one of the five stars. He ain't gonna be easy to get rid of. Yeah, well, we'll just fucking put a Twinkie on the end of a stick and lure him away. I might as well again, especially since I fucked up doing uh doing Yuki's thing. Or special training. Ugh. Twinkie, yes, a Twinkie. <laughs> Let's see, special training. Yuki. All right, you ready for some training? Yes, please. Hey, Yuki-chan, those battle butterflies finally gone. Well, it is just you after all, Majima-san. Oh, is that some sass I detect? That's my job, young lady. All right, let's do this. I'm the customer, you're the hostess. Ready? Right. Yeah, yeah, of course. Hello, I'm Yuki. Are you welcome here today? We still got a long way to go. Let's see. Hey. Also, yeah, also oh, over 700 fans and still only rank F. Oof. Kind of cold today, huh? So, so this 
Very natural. Good job, Yuki. Good job. You get a raise. You get two raises, even. <laughs> She's such a fucking goober. I kind of love her. Yuki Chad, I can tell you're getting better with the customers lately, but you're still having trouble keeping conversations rolling. You can talk about anything or even something small. The weather, current events. Keep it casual. Maybe not current events, actually. That's going to be off putting. Hell, you can even throw out something you've been trying to get off your chest. You want an entire game built off the cabaret club, but with men as well? Ooh. Oh my god, that'd be fun. Anyway, so today, let's try putting the burden of conversation on you, Yuki-chan. Best trick to start the conversation is to just ask a question. Think of me as a guest and fire away. Anything. Took two exams today? God damn, Spice, I'm sorry. I'm sure you knocked it out of the park. You are also a smart noodle. But nonetheless, glad to have you. Hope you have fun while you can. Get some rest when you need to. Um, what kind of sushi? That's too random. <laughs> I mean, for an opening question, that is a little awkward, but she, but she's trying. I don't know what either of these other kinds are. <laughs> Um, fucking Angawa sounds funnier. I'm an Angawa guy. Oh, okay. Pocket circuit is a real thing. Oh my god, that's amazing. Yeah, that's the other thing. Like when, once we get back to Kiryu, yeah, I've got a shit ton of pocket circuit to do. There's like fucking seven side quests tied to pocket circuit. And I've not done any of it outside of, like, just the opening, uh, the opening thing. Basically what Machima is doing. But, uh, taking the, over, the, over the whole city, maybe on a larger scale, fight Yakuza style as well, it'd be so good. Aww. No kidding, you got quite the discriminating palate for a young lady, Yuki. God, I want sushi so bad. You and your gramps are making sushi runs? Is your family loaded or something? I realized something. What? You some kind of lost mountain princess, Yuki-chan? You know, I, 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 I mentioned before that I was planning on getting endless shrimp for my birthday dinner. Me and my grandma go get that every year. Uh, endless shrimp is totally not a thing this year. Or at least it got super, super delayed. So, uh, so yeah, I'm not doing that. They do still have, like, they have a special where they have it every Monday. I just, we just never get it otherwise, because it's expansive. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, if I, if I'd known that sooner, I totally would have, uh, seen if she wanted to go today. But at this rate, I'm gonna have to wait till next week, if at all. So I don't know what the fuck I'm actually gonna do for my birthday dinner. I have never been to a revolving sushi bar. I've never been to, like, any dedicated sushi place. I've just had, like, cheap stuff at other places. Ah, see how that works? Your question was out of left field, but it kicked off a whole conversation. And I got to know you a little better in the process. Eh? <laughs> was that what we were doing? You ask a question, the other person answers. Easy, right? If you have a problems carrying on a conversation, ask a customer a question and let them talk. That'll turn into a conversation pronto. Yeah, I do wonder what the other one would have gotten. Yeah, like these seem to be pretty, uh, pretty lengthy dialogue branches. So I'm curious what would change. What the fuck? Yeah. How do you not know? No wife to get mad at me in the first place. I live alone as a free man, and I'm also probably gay. What the fuck? 
What the fuck, Yuki? Do I look like a chef? I just do whatever. These conversations have been really cute so far. Like I said, the only thing I don't really like is the fact that they're only one uh, voice acted one way. Um, fucking, I would love for you to make me dinner. That sounds that sounds amazing. Sounds tasty. Looking forward to it. You could say I'm a confirmed bachelor. Oh, Queenie, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I hated to be the one to tell you to tell you about uh, your senpai already being taken, but uh, you're you're handling it very maturely. You can you can grow and move on from here. I'm sure you'll find someone special of your own one day. You read that in a book or something? No, nope. fortune cookie. <laughs> Wait, you actually read books like that, Yuki-chan? <laughs> that's actually an old way of saying someone was gay, isn't really? Oh my god, that's funny. My lips are sealed. I can tell you better at this talking thing. You're making progress, Yuki-chan. Sorry if I sounded weird for a second there. I was getting up because I thought Scully wanted out. Do you want out, Scully? There she is. Scully. Do you want to leave? I think she wants to leave. Get out. Little patoot. Ugh. Did you miss something with the queen spice? I forget. You were... I think you were kind of uh, either... Just lurking yesterday, but uh, so it's basically some shit went down yesterday. Long story short, we've got like 50 million new uh, <laughs> new clown alt accounts for people like Edelgard and Lang and Callisto U and and Rafa. <laughs> at least at least two people are doing it. So, so Majima would absolutely own at least one cat. At least one. What does that mean? Yeah, that's true. Like, this is going to be less real practice the more we get to know her. <laughs> I guess that's true. Hmm. Um. Fucking pretend they're me then. Just think of all the customers as me! Um... What is that reaction, ma'am? What are you thinking about? What's so funny? His cats would be even more spoiled than mine. And my cat literally falls asleep with me cradling him in my arms. You know what I meant! Wasn't a literal suggestion. Oh. <laughs> what do you like me or something? Is that right? Good, good. This cat would have a bed like an actual human sized bed. Like a fucking twin or something. You say something? <laughs> Hey, look at the time. Any last questions you want to ask me? Forget about the train for a second. Anything goes. This is off the record. Rot row. What does that mean? I don't know. どう思ってるか知りたいんです。うーん。はははは。うーん。A4K TV with a fish aquarium. Why? What the fuck? Hope there's a good amount of platinum hostesses. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I saw your uh your tea party, Queenie. It
Seems like a lovely time. I would love to make it if I'm up in time. Um, you, 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 you're working hard. You're cute, sounds demeaning. Is this your guest room? Nope, that's my cat's room. <laughs> you're working hard or hardly working? It's not your fault a strange amount of guys are really, really into the old lady. People are just freaky like that, Yuki. I assure you, you are cute. It's just weird. It's the 80s. Comparing yourself to others is a losing proposition. What's important is how hard you're working to get better. <laughs> Besides, you ain't that great at talking to guys, yet here you are. Toughing it out to overcome your weakness. That's something to be proud of, if you ask me. <laughs> yeah, she said as a, yeah, she said it exactly, Bestie. She said as an employee, not a customer. Like, your, your cute would be uh, dismissive slash kind of creepy because he is her boss. <laughs> <laughs> okay, never mind. It's creepy either way. <laughs> what do you mean, creepy? I picked the nicer one. Alright, let's call it a wrap. Thank you for the lesson. Sure thing. Good job. So, let's see. <laughs> it was perfect lesson. So it's such a good time, I practically forgot we were training you. Really? That's great. Thank you so much. Keep it up, then you'll have those customers melting like chocolate on a dashboard. I still don't know what that means. You tell me that every time, majima -san, and I don't know what that means. Why would you put chocolate there? Why? You would eat the chocolate or take it into the fucking house with you. Why would you leave it on the dashboard? That's a waste of perfectly good chocolate. I don't get it, Majima-san. Perfect tea time. Oh God, everyone's uh, everyone's really hurting, aren't they? Am I okay? I'm good. <laughs> uh, hmm. See how skilled Majima is. If Kiri and Majima were on a date, Majima would take the lead. <laughs> Edelgard is a Dimulith fan and likes everything opposite of its persona. Ah. Would make sense. They're just very good at being in character. Let's see. Maybe he eats hot chocolate since this is during the winter. <laughs> That's even worse. She can't deal with it. She can't deal with that metaphor. God, is there any way to uh to pick them up besides um besides just leaving them off for the night? Did that, did, does that even work? Like, is, uh, is this other girl good to go back now? Yeah, she is. She's recovered. Okay. Okay, well, she's, ex she's extra pissed. So she can just sit the night out. And then we'll just try and take it easy on these two and, uh, use fever time immediately. Hopefully that's all we need. Oh, that's right. We can only make over her. Somehow, 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 I doubt make doing a makeover is going to improve her condition much. Don't call me a betch, Dusk. That's rude, and I'm in mourning. You're not allowed to call me a betch. Not on the week of my birthday. After my after my boy Travis got me tooed. It's a painful time for me right now. <laughs> you got an itch, an itch, JC. Thank you for sharing. You feel bad? Okay, as long as you feel bad. A friend of yours is going to start for St. Nathan. Ooh, very cool. I hope he enjoys it. 
Four says the fun time. Good God! Nothing makes this person happy. Dolly, try your best. Did I buy any properties? As Kiryu, a little, a few. I don't know if I got them all. I uh, progressed far enough to challenge. Um, uh, what's his name? I got far enough to challenge him to a, uh, a karaoke fight, but I know that's actually not too far into the uh, into the storyline in the grand scheme of things. How many Agitos we have left? I believe I believe 13, 12 or 13. We're gonna try and finish that up Wednesday. Uh, just hang in there a little bit, ma'am, please. Have we gotten strikes and bowling? I think I got one. I know, yeah, I need to I need to go back and get um Um How can I get her stuff up? People are trying to get Nico B to play Xenoblade 2, saying it's really great. God. Would that be a good idea right now with uh, with Chuck and Conroy playing it as well? They need to stop! <laughs> Again, like I said, what, watching Chugga's playthrough, it's like... To be fair, it's I've been skipping all the cutscenes. Because I know how Chugga structures his Let's Plays, I know he doesn't talk over cutscenes. So I've been skipping all the cutscenes. <laughs> in um in his um, in his playthrough. So I know that helps. Like I know if I actually played it again, I'd it would all come flooding back to me, all the, the problems. But um <sighs> Need to watch Chuck play, yeah, his playthrough's been pretty fun. Nico didn't like Steven's bash. Yeah, the only the only two people's reaction videos I watched were uh, were Maximilian's and Nico's, and they were both just as apathetic as I was. <laughs> but yeah, like again, just o only watching the gameplay stuff. It's like <sighs> some of the stuff is fun. I sincerely do like the gacha mechanics. The combat is enjoyable for the most part, but like... <laughs> he said after the live stream he was okay because there was effort put in. I'm just better. Yeah, I thought. Uh, yeah, to think to think I felt slighted because it was exactly one week away from my birthday. It actually was Nico's birthday. I forgot he's an October boy as well. Yeah, like I said, I. I would, if my if if my pest if my newfound pessimism ends up being unwarranted. And it, and and I end up getting my uh, my some people I wanted more than Travis, like Dante or Raiden somehow or whatever. Then um, then I'll, I'll uh, then I'll be fine. Like I, I I said it I said it before that I won't get I, I said before hey if you don't want anyone root for Dante because if I get Dante I don't give a shit who gets in at this point. Like, if I get my most wanted, then whatever. I don't care who else is in there. It'll it'll work retroactively the same way. Uh, menu? Ice. It's my birthday. I get the right to shit on everything. Fucking well said, Nico. Wise words. The blades and stuff are pretty cool. Yeah, no, like, I like the rare blade system. It's, it's just Rex and Pyra. It's just that Rex and Pyra as main characters are insufferable. And yeah, like um hearing um hearing uh fucking Chuck and Conroy just genuinely not realize the issues people have with some of the characters like Rex and uh Tora. It's like, oh I I wish I had your brain.
Dante, Shante, Ami, are your dream picks spice? Good taste. Hey. Crunchy, thank you for updating the autopsy report. Your boards are rewatching South Park. Good decision. I was trying to wait for someone else to come in. Oh, there we go. Good God. There we go. Yeah, very, uh, very, very good decision. I rewatched all of South Park a couple of years back with uh, with Ivy. It's still, uh, it's still quite good. Um. Yes. Mel Gibson episode. The Mel Gibson episode is so good. Sakurai wants to make fans grow. He should put in a rep from Skylanders. Oh my god, can you imagine? Um. Give Dolly a reward, absolutely. Nico tried to argue that Shantae was too sexual. For what? Oops. Oh yeah, yeah. No, if, there, if there's one thing Steve did, he proved my uh, my kind of theory, but not really. It was something I was considering. It wasn't really a hard set theory, but um, but yeah, confirm that um, just because a company got a rep in the uh in the other uh, first pass doesn't mean anything's off the table for this one. So yeah, so we're probably we're almost certainly getting another square rep, and possibly Sega Kiryu would be sick, but don't do that. Don't give me hope. God damn, let's go. She is putting in work. Steve was not playing since Smash 4. He has just been being talked about since Smash 4. They have been discussing things with the company that they'd like to include Minecraft content of some kind since Smash 4. There has been nothing definitive. People are, people are taking that out of context to act like, oh, that means every fighter ever was planned this far ahead. No. Right on! Looks like we got some momentum going. Yes, I think we'll be able to reach Club Mars fan count any day now. Haha, <laughs> looks like we're on the right track. Well, I doubt they'll just sit around and do nothing. Hino is bound to have something up his sleeve. Hey, let go of me! Crime? What crime? Joe, why the hell would you expect crime in a Yakuza game? We are playing Barbie Dream Dress Up, thank you very much. Someone's fighting outside? The timing's too perfect. This might be Hino up to no good. No problem. Let's check it out. I'll just kick the shit out of them. Huh? Did I see your message? Oh, where's your message, Kiwi? Sorry, I think I missed it. You're reading your uh, Greek mythology textbook. Lesbian themes. <laughs> oh, they got lesbian themes, Kiwi? Oh, good. Excellent. Also DDR. You're right, from Hino's Club Mars. We got scammed out of all our money for that asshole's club. You want to do something about it? Why do you sound just like my boss? Yeah. What can I really do? I mean, if you're going to play, if you're going to play, you've got to pay. Uh -huh. Shut it! My wife took the kids and left me because of that damn club. You're a part of the problem. Yeah, time for you to fix it. Oh. Fix it? By doing what? What's all this crap? Sounds like they spent too much money at Club Mars and were driven to bankruptcy. Bankruptcy? They partied at Cabaret Club until they went bankrupt? Fucking losers. Eno certainly knows how to bleed a customer dry. Yeah, I'm sorry to say, Shantae's not getting into Smash because of her design. She's not getting into Smash because Indies. Like I said, if... Quite, I'm gonna be frank. Travis probably had the best shot of any indie character. Travis is out. I don't think anyone has a shot. 
as anything higher than a me costume. He'll let them play until they run out of money, and when they run out, he'll loan them more money. He'll, he'll loan the money to, to let them play more, with cutthroat interest, of course. I gotcha. Pretty nasty business. Yeah, that's why so many people hate Club Mars. Doesn't surprise me at all that this girl has to deal with something like this. No More Heroes was an indie? Kind of. Kind of. It's on the, it's on the precipice. But it's a very, it, it's very similar principle. Like, it is technically not, I suppose, but it's on, it's about on that same scale. It's like, it's dangerously close to the same echelon. It's comp, it's complicated. I'm not going to get into it, but just, I, I don't think indies are happening. But yeah, Shantae's design is great. I would not be bad if she got it. I don't think she's in. But again, that's because I'm conditioned at this point to say nothing, nothing I want slash would at least be okay with is going to happen. I, I'm convinced myself the rest of the past is going to be all shit I hate because nothing good will ever happen to me ever. Of course, the girls have no idea why they're being targeted. He knows to tell them he's driving their customers into deeper debts with his loans. Mm -hmm. Majima-san? Hey, where are you? Was it mine? Minecraft was an indie when it first came out, yes. Yo, you lot, why are you making a scene in front of the club? What? We're busy here! Fuck off! You sound like a, you surround a girl and threaten her. You do also sound like a girl. But you ought to be ashamed. I ditch your sorry ass if I were your wife, too. Say what? Sounds like you want to die, you asswipe. We'll get this shithead first, then he you know. Kill him! What a pain. You all right, lady? This is going to get ugly, so maybe you should take a step back. Th thank you. Die! Yeah, Minecraft was at one point an indie. I hardly think it counts anymore. But yeah, we're yeah, best we're playing Barbie Dream dressed up with our favorite gay protagonist, Gora Majima. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> Look at her. You into this shit eye. For the last 20 minutes, you've been running around your house setting up a joke that's probably not worth it. Pro help, what are you doing? <laughs> well, that was underwhelming. No, Majima-san, you're just too strong, but why did you? What was all that noise? What on earth happened? Huh? Who are these people? Have you beaten people up again, Majima-san? Why do you always gotta assume it's me? He had it coming! Guilty as charged, though. Guilty as charged. He's supposed to make it a rack in front of the club. So I figured I'd do something about it. Really? You beat them up just for that? Majima-san, you can be such a monster. No, that's not true! He saved me. <laughs> saved you? Um, who might you be? Hi, I'm I from Club Mars. What? Club Mars? Oh, wh what are we gonna do, Majima-san? She's from Club Mars! Come on, calm down. I knew that. Huh? You knew and you still helped her? What if she's an enemy spy and this is all part of her plot? I son why were you in front of our club? Hi. Oh, right. I had a message from Hino-san for you. A message? Uh Yes. I've allowed you to exist out of the kindness of my heart until now, but I grow tired of your buzzing insects. If you're challenging the five stars, there will be no mercy. It's high time I destroyed you. Let the tears of the defeat begin to fall. And that's the message. Well, ain't that classy. Guess that's a declaration of war. <laughs> Fine, if he's got a death wish, I'd be happy to grant it. That sounds great, Majima-san. Let's kill him. Let's show Hino we won't ba bow down to five stars. So, I and Ray kind of rhyme. Are the hosts gonna have any puns on the Sailor Scouts? That seems to be where it's going. Because the owner's name is Hino. Hmm. I wonder. Sounds like you shot the girl pair, Yoda chan. <laughs> Oh, maybe you're starting to rub, rub off on me. What's the matter, Yuki-chan? You're shivering. Are you scared? 
N no, I'm just pumped for the fight. Heh, <laughs> don't try to act all tough. You're a weak babby. That's not what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> That's so great. What are you laughing at? You're making fun of me, aren't you? <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm sorry. I don't know, it's just fun. It's fun? Yeah, everyone at Club Sunshine actually gets along with each other. You think so? We don't get along at all, actually. <laughs> Sailor Moon Crystal, I believe it finished, but I'm not sure, actually. I know it I know it completely changed uh, art directions at some point. I and Ray, yeah, I was I and Ray actually do not rhyme at all, but hey. She's wearing red because she's Sailor Mars. <laughs> nice change of pace from where I work is all. All the girls at Club Mars are wound up tight, and Hino-san doesn't really treat us like people. The way you three talk to each other, I'm really jealous. There's nothing to be jealous about. Majima-san makes fun of me all the time. Don't confuse the cold hot truth for me making fun of you, Pichan. <laughs> She's so mad. <laughs> well, I better get back to Club Mars. Uh, okay, I thought, I thought for sure she was going to join our crew. That place is a hellhole, apparently. Hino-san's gonna blow a socket. I'll see you later. You stay out of trouble now. Don't get attacked again. Majima-san, right? Oh. Huh? Why did you help me even though I knew you, were, you knew I was your enemy? Oh, is that heaven or hell? <laughs> <laughs> My Jacko avatar in the middle of the pancakes. What the hell happened? <laughs> I mean, it's beautiful, Queenie. Thank you very much. I'm honored to be a part of the uh, the party. <laughs> yeah, you know how it is. Club Mars may be my enemy, but you're just working hard there. You got nothing to do with the lines of the sand. Besides, I ain't dead enough to let a girl get attacked right in front of me and just twiddle my thumbs. I see. Majima-san, I truly wish you the best. I hope we meet again. Aww. Yakuza, the one game where you can have Sailor Moon featuring Yoda from Star Wars. This this, this game's something special. She wishes us well. I guess so. That's why she's number one at Club Mars. She's cute. Wish she was my daughter. She does got a sparkle in her eye, doesn't she? Hey, my eye sparkle, my eye sparkle too. See? Look. Ah, I'm not seeing it. Boy, it's kind of chilly out today. <laughs> yep. Back to it, I guess. Wow. Wow. What? Hey, see if my eyes are for sparkle for you again. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, poor Yuki. Oh, no. You know, Bayaka is some maybe like the idea of fighting as a hobo. Is the main character a hobo? I know he's got some funky ass hair, but I don't know if this is, he's necessarily a hobo. I definitely want to get Yakuza Seven. It's just it's gonna be a while. Since, it, it's gonna be a while until I play it. I I think I I'm probably I should probably get through all these uh, these mainline ones first because this new one's kind of like a reboot, like new protagonist and everything. Oops. <laughs> She's like the little sister, and you love it. I like her a lot. He's pretty great. <laughs> One of the playable characters is a hobo. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get that. I just don't know if I'm going to pick it up at launch. Although I do want the steel book, so I might have to. But yeah, just because I'm, it's going to be a while until I actually play it. I'm, uh, I'm kind of tempted not to get it right away. I figured I might actually be able to talk to you. All right, well, fuck it. Uh, assuming, assuming all my hostesses aren't about to uh, to pass out from exhaustion, let's go ahead and try to uh, finish it off. All right, let's do it to it. Oh yeah, we're not quite ready to uh, sort of. Oh, e shit! It was the F before, right? We we actually are improving. Oh, my, uh, my poor girls are hurting. Ugh.
Mm, yeah. Yeah, a lot of them are all... A lot of them are kind of pushing it. So we aren't kicking the Mafia's ass? No! Why would we beat up... Why would we beat up Mafia goons in a fucking Yakuza game? That's not what this game is about. It's about teaching people valuable life lessons and playing Barbie Dream Dress Up. And also real estate. And disco. And karaoke. And bowling. It's about literally everything but beating up thugs, except when we do sometimes. Good God, you see these assholes? Fucking lime green shirt with pink purple pants. Absolutely disgusting. I did beat up a mob boss to protect the shroom vendor. Yeah. And then he fell in love with the shroom vendor and they moved to Italy and now he works for my security company. <laughs> I repeat, this game is about everything but being a Yakuza. Also, I see that uh, that Club Venus there. I'm guessing that's uh, that's our next target. Although we've already we've already broken sequence. Then again, so did Sailor Moon. If we were going in the proper order, technically, we probably should have fought, um... Probably should have fought Venus first. Actually, no, we should have fought Mercury first. What am I saying? <laughs> Mafia boss is very good. Don't sell like his name. I would never. God damn, I am just not getting that, um... What's it called? Please, I need the Chinese broadsword! Yeah, the double one is different, sure enough. Fucking political activist, please! This girl's name is Spermo? I can't wait to play as Yakuza. Kiryu leaves the Yakuza after Chapter 1. Spermo? Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Alright. Um... Let's see. Yeah, I, ba I backed out of that because one, uh, you know, focus on, uh, you know, keep up trading out and doing some of the other stuff. Apollo's granddaughter is named Spermo, a.k.a. Seed Girl. Oh, my God. Um, no. <laughs> I, I don't think, uh, I, d I don't think, uh, him or Clavier would approve of uh, a grandchild of theirs being named that. Looks like Kyoko-chan over there. She's in the middle of the game, so I better not disturb her until she's done. Space Harrier is serious fucking business. Looks like she's done. Hey. Oh, Machima-san, you came at the perfect time. Why? I played a few games while I was doing some maintenance. I got a pretty good score. See? Give me a look. Okay. Oh, fuck. A million points? What the fuck? That's ridiculously damn good for someone who just started. <laughs> I thought so, too. Uh. Yeah, you're a natural. Say, Majima-san, how about we have a little competition? What, you and me? Yes, if you get a better score than me in your next game, I'll give you a prize. A prize, huh? So, what do you say? Oh, no, do I actually have to get a million points? <laughs> All right, I'll take you on. Let's see what you can do. What the fuck? What was my score before? Like fucking 30,000? 
Oh, there's no way. Oh, no, game, please. Don't lock actual content behind getting these, doing well in these mini games. Game, please. Oh, I got three million? Oh, okay, I, 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 I miscounted. <laughs> Suffering for playing a non-RPG, that's what I fucking get. It's okay. Like I said, I, I get to play a little bit of Final Fantasy X on my birthday. I'll get to show off my sick turn-based RPG skills then. It'll be fine. Granted, I don't think I'll be getting any, like, the... Uh, granted, I don't think I'll be doing any, like, the super notorious bosses of that game. Like, the first couple areas are pretty straightforward. My birthday is Thursday. October 8th. What? What the hell? It like freaking like auto locked me into the center. Like I was all the way up there and then boom. That was weird. I did not let go I, like I did not let go of the uh the joy the uh joystick, but it acted like I did. Also did I progress to the next gauge without actually killing that thing? That's not gonna do my score any favors. This is Space Harrier, Kiwi! Because Sega! Why does it look so familiar? Because Hideki Kamiya really, really likes changing genres for the for the final boss of his game. <laughs> All his games. He did it for DMC1 and Bayonetta. Also, good God, I'm sorry. I'm about, I'm about to have to get up in a second and turn the heater down. It's been cold today. So I think the heat might be up a little bit, but this is too much. Even Beautiful Joe, is it? I've never actually played Beautiful Joe. Is it that way in Beautiful Joe as well? What the fuck? Whatever, I got a million. Ah. Oh, you watched some of Nico's playthrough of Yakuza 0. Okay, yeah, yeah. Then yeah, you would have seen it there as well. All right, how about that? Wow, that's incredible. You're really good at this, Majima-san. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, baby. It's side scrolling, but it is still the same. Wow. God. Kamiya, what the fuck? Shenmue? Oh, yeah, this was totally also in Shenmue, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Sega really likes showing off their, uh, their own games within games. I can't believe you breezed past my score like that. I really tried my best in everything. Well, I came out on top today, but I'm sure you can do better if you keep trying. <laughs> You're much kinder than you look, Majima-san. Oh, I almost forgot. Here's your prize. Hey. We should do this again. I won't lose next time. Yeah, let's see how high you can get that score. Can you play Crazy Taxi instead? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, one second. I gotta let Tommy out and also turn the fan up a notch. Where are the sailors? Fuck the sailors. I want to ride a forklift. <laughs> Alrighty, let's see. 
Oh yeah, let's uh let's get some more food as well. Like I said, I gotta start focusing on uh on ordering one of everything from all these places. Oh god damn it, yeah, I bar I'm bar I'm barely hungry. Or I barely need health rather. Poop. Um, 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 um. Mm -hmm. Delicious crab. Alright, let's see. Um, that's right. I was gonna I was gonna try and recruit some of these other hostesses who hang out on the other uh, street corners. So I can uh have enough to uh to rotate out. There's a girl in the restaurant friendship. Is there a restaurant literally called Friendship? There's uh, there's several restaurants and I know I haven't I've barely touched most of them. Have I heard of a Sentai where the rangers are little animals? I've not heard of a Sentai where they're little animals specifically. I know of a Sentai where they are animal people, except for the Red Ranger. Like all of them, all the rangers are furries who like take on human form, and that's uh, Zio Zioja. I have no idea if that's what you mean or not, thus. <laughs> the one where I got friendship is the only restaurant on the bottom. Oh, so, uh, so that one. Okay, all right, we'll, pe we'll peek back in there then. Assuming I need health by now, I believe I do. Also, I got complete mixed. Mi I completely got this mixed up with Kiryu's map. I'm looking for the uh, the pawn shop, and I don't think it's down here. Or wait, maybe it is. Oh yeah, no, it's right there. Okay. Yeah, I'm hoping I can get a purse from there, because I have no idea where the hell else I would get I would get it from. Your sub dies in two days of this. Yeah, yeah, like I was saying earlier, a lot of people are gonna die. It is the uh it has been a, it has been exactly one month since the uh the the uh gift subpocalypse, the second coming. You know. Uh the uh, the, the the one the one hundred that dropped at the same time during an ace attorney stream. So a bunch of people are about to run out. Fun fact, I can buy digestive medicine from the drugstore and take it loose of my health so I can eat more. Oh, okay. All right, please tell me I can buy purses here. You literally have them on display, so I would assume I can. I actually can't, can't I? I totally just have to win one from a uh, from a brawl. Ugh, that's unfortunate. Well, weird mechanic that helps. I need to finish an eatery. Oh yeah, totally. All right. Well, fuck it. Let's dance again instead. I can buy one near 
from the shop near the pawn. There's a store for purses. Is there? All right, get my buggy on. Possibly. I might actually have... That's right, I might actually have to dance again before it procs. I probably have to dance three times in a row again, don't I? Oh, maybe not. Oh, hi, Majima Kun. It's been a while. Well, if it ain't Missy Sobe, goddess of Maharaja. Lamarsh is the name. Okay. <laughs> Do I detect sarcasm? You can just call me Sobe, you know. <laughs> ha! Yeah, yeah, it's been a while. What's up? You finally descended to the mortal plane for some dancing? Of course not. You're just not good enough for me. Rude. After Ryuki, should we watch Dragon Knight? Oh. I wouldn't be opposed to watching it at some point, but probably not right after Ryuki. I feel like it would disrupt too much. Uh, not yet anyway. Remember what I said last time? Ah, not really. Didn't I say I would introduce you to the male dancer who's second only to me, provided you get better, of course. All right, I did say that. After Dragon Knight, should we watch Ryu Kendo? Maybe? I don't know. I hesitate with Ryu Kendo just because it's like, it's such an obvious knockoff. It's like, why wouldn't I just watch actual Kamen Rider? But I don't know. Maybe at some point. I thought you might be ready now, so I brought the dancer with me. Come over here. Oh, God, please tell me you suck, too. Come on, Majima can't see you if you're hiding behind me. You have to show your face. Oh, um. Live stream chat for a stupid joke you spent too much time on. What'd you do, pro help? Is this the one that had you running back and forth between your house? So what won the poll? Uh, we technically still have a three-way tie. What the fuck? Oh my god! <laughs> Fucking satanic ritual to summon the queen! Pro help, who did this? <laughs> oh my god. It's fucking amazing. <laughs> yeah, for anyone who hasn't voted in the poll, you are free to. But right now, we've got a, uh, a three-way tie. And as it stands, I'll probably just make an executive decision. Java said for you, Ken, was actually pretty okay. I believe it's okay, but it's like, again, it's the same shit with like common with ghost it's like why would i watch something that's okay when i can watch the real thing or kino s i don't know <laughs> i don't know i'm not saying no to it at some point but like for now for now in terms of just the structure unless there's like a super high demand for it for whatever reason and i end up like i i'd be willing to put on the poll between stuff but like i, I like the idea of just sticking with the regular common rider seasons for uh for you know every other watch through and watching them in order this is Maharaja's second in command. Uh huh. <laughs> <sighs> Leave your kid until after Kamen Rider. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Come on, don't slouch. Chip up. You should introduce yourself. Um, hello. Uh, yeah. Hello. Don't worry about him. He's just a little shy. Okay. Got it. Oh, but his dance sense and technique are sheer genius. That's no exaggeration. How did three-way tie happen? Did someone hack? We're pretty sure. We're pretty sure someone may have uh, thrown in a couple of extra votes for over the garden wall, because it went from having like two votes to tying with everything else. But uh, but other than that, like I said. Oh shit! We actually uh, Scooby Doo is actually winning now. Yata. So that means if I take down this all the time, I get the glory of being the greatest dancer at Maharaja. <gasps> yeah. The greatest dancer, Majima Kun. I didn't know you were so ambitious. Huh? You're that Samurai Flamingo vote? Good. Someone has to. <laughs> if you're gonna do something, gotta aim for the top. Real man never aims second best. Aren't you something? Well, if you do manage to beat me, you'll be the strong greatest dancer here. There's no question about that. Ha! <laughs> Good to hear. But for you to challenge me, you have to beat this man first. The dance of Maharaja have to be convinced of your talent. Yeah, seems that way. I'm well aware. You were saying you can beat me? Huh? I won't know till I try. All I know is I'm gaining confidence as a dancer. I see. Well, you saw Majima Kun dancing. Did you like what you saw? 
Yeah, I would like to try a dance battle. I think, I think he has talent that's a little different from mine. I guess genius really can't recognize other genius. Must be instinct. Majima-san, I would like, would you like to battle? Absolutely. <laughs> sure, let's boogie. I wonder who's going to come out on top. Not even I can say for sure. Ah! Yeah! Oh, how's everyone grooving tonight? Oh, I'm taking on Majima here in a dance yeah. battle. What the fresh what? hell? Hey, the old guy's in dance mode. I can't wait to see his moves again. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to tell you. His personality completely changed when he's about to dance. It's like he slips a switch or something. Okay. They say geniuses can be a little odd, but man. <laughs> okay, Majima, are you ready to get down? Let's get primal and dance like party animals. God, I'm almost afraid to try anything too much more difficult. Let's just stick with easy. Let's be a bitch, baby. This is why you're going to previous with your mom. I'm sure how many know what Samurai Flamingo or Tiger Buddy are. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, totally. We totally do need to start doing the preview night thing as, uh, um, going forward. I just kind of forgot to with, the, with this one. because I kind of forgot to with this one because, remember, I, uh, remember that, uh, that donation goal down there. I'm a dumbass. <laughs> And we've ended up just kind of plowing through these. Uh, I feel you all time, but let's do this. Oh, that thing is never getting filled. <sighs> Why do I make these promises? Why do I always fly too close to the sun? DMC5 Special Edition doesn't exist. Dante's gonna be in Smash. I still won somehow. Doubt that I ever went. Scooby-Doo would be fun though. Yeah, Scooby-Doo. Uh, Scooby I'm kind of glad Scooby-Doo's winning. Like I said, if it had continued to stay at tie, I probably would have made the executive decision for Scooby-Doo anyway. Because I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to double up on a couple of uh, on a couple of Ace Attorney group watches. And uh, that's right. We're already in October. I doubt it. Yeah, I, d I doubt we're gonna get to it in time for Spooky Month. But uh, the original intent was to try and do a Scooby-Doo for Spooky Month. Hey, hey, I'm the man now, dog. Congratulations. I've never lost anyone but Missy Sobe before. You already cleaned up the salt pro elbow. No. Uh, sorry, clown lady. You tried. No, Dancing Fever. I keep forgetting about it, Bestie. I'm so sorry. Personality snapped right back to low key. Manji Basan, you're an inspiring dancer. You give me the lot to think about. I have to go now. My planet needs me, but thank you for dancing with me. I'm never gonna dance again. These guilty feet have got no rhythm. <laughs> I had a blast dancing with you. We gotta hit the dance floor again, old guy. Aww. Now it's one dancer left standing in my way. That dude with the eye patch is wicked. I can't believe he had that's the old guy. <laughs> Wait, if he beat the old guy, does that mean he's a number two dancer here now? <laughs> Your talent is finally in full bloom. You've definitely earned the respect of Maharaja's dancers as one of the elite now. Gotta admit, there's some, there's some appeal in that. Then all that's left is our showdown, just you and me. It looks that way. I'm looking forward to it. It's been a while since I've been able to dance without holding back. 
<gasps> yeah, alrighty. You ready for the showdown? No, no, no. You have to wait. Why? You say that I still don't measure up? No, I'm just tired. You've, proven, you've more than proved yourself capable, but... What? If we were to suddenly begin our dance battle right here and now, it would cause an uproar. There'd be chaos in here. Ha! You have to realize that with fame comes an ebb and flow. How about we have our showdown next time you visit? I'll get the word out and get Maharaja ready so there won't be a, p a pandemonium when we dance. All right, got it. I'll be back. I ain't going home without your goddess crown this time. I aim to bring, bring low a deity. I shall be the Swan Queen. I'll make you eat those words. Genshin Impact? I'm not playing that. I refuse. It's been two days and I'm... It's been two days and that game has already reached Among Us levels of me being sick of hearing about it. Majima the God Slayer. Alrighty. Let's see. Nyak, nyak, nyak. Okay, there's apparently a place across for the pawn shop. Oh, it's literally right there. Okay, let's buy some expensive gifts so we can get some extra hostesses. And give these other girls a poor... Uh, give, give these other poor girls a break. Hello. How can I help you? Hmm. Italian shoulder bag. Uh, shoulder bag, purse, same thing. Surely. It's a gotcha game. It'll take up hope leaks and be forgotten. I mean, that's what I thought about Among Us. Bristol won't shut up about it. Oh man. Hmm. Can I run down there and go back? Let's try it. I've got practically a full inventory of uh Of uh, healing stuff. I was just I was just thinking like I've got so much shit, but most of it's healing items because I was gonna try and fight him. Let's see. I actually almost had him before at one point. I just didn't quite. I didn't heal in time or like something. Something fucked me up. But I think I can do it. Hey, get back here, you pussy! <laughs> Got the zap guns? I did not. Go on, do something to me. Do something to me. I'm never gonna dance again! Ah! No, 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 no! With Mr. Shakedown, dance the dance of life. Oof. 
Nazis. Like, stuff like that's pushing it close. <laughs> we got this, though. We got this. that now is the default. Hey, there we go. That wasn't too bad. It came popular because it's free and actually has work put into it. I... This is in no way meant to sound dismissive, but I don't care. <laughs> Just y'all, y'all, y'all know how I am. Y'all know how I am. The sec, like it, it's already gotten to the degree of Among Us, where I fucking see it everywhere, and I'm already sick of it. <laughs> like I don't care how good it actually is at that point. It again, I, it took me fucking five years to be willing to play Undertale. Like, I, I, I have no patience for being forced to see something everywhere. Oh, you were telling Dusk. I gotcha. I gotcha. Well, I didn't expect that. You're pretty good. No shit, Sherlock. Better be more careful when you pick your victim next time. You play game because it's like Zelda. Oh, okay. You feel the same about Zeo Xenoblade 1 until you play? Yeah, yeah. You know, like, don't get me wrong, I know that's a bad mindset to have, because half the time stuff- Most of the time, stuff is popular for a reason. Unless it's Minecraft. <laughs> but, um, just- uh, it, It's got, like I said, there's gotta be a spark. I have to actually feel some kind of incentive or see something that makes me want to get into it. And uh, thus far, I have seen nothing special about that game whatsoever. Like, I don't think it looks that good. Guess you didn't notice I was holding back this time. You'd be dead if I hadn't. As if I had like 50 healing items left. Seriously? If you die, I can't shake down later. I have to make sure to keep you alive. Yeah, then don't hold back next time. We'll see if the result's any different. Unless it's Ace Attorney, that's just wrong. Well, I'm done for today. Couldn't get my money, so there's no point hanging around here. I'm going home. He's a dumbass, but he's strong. Gotta get down my toes if I want to bump into him again. Alrighty. And now a new one uh, should pop up eventually, I believe. Ugh. Oh, the shogi guy. Yeah, we're not doing that. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, I hate to do it, but... I believe there are also side stories for Majima, and also I know we probably have quite a few videos. Create really release on every console? Yeah, Dusk, basically. Hmm. She's got humongous earrings. She's perfect. What do you want? What kind of present do you want, lady? High-end accessory would be nice. Ring, necklace, or bracelet. Do I have anything like that? Okay, no. <laughs> Poop. Yeah, the videos. You're welcome, everyone. I know how much y'all love the videos. They killed the radio star, after all. Also, not my neighborhood, sirs. Like, I do get why I do get why Minecraft is popular. Obviously, but just like it's one, I hate the way it looks, and two, it's just yeah, I don't know. It generally like I don't just call it ugly Legos because they're blocky, but uh, but ugly. I call it ugly Legos because they feel they feel like two generation Zoomer, whatever whatever the whatever the actual whatever the actual generation is. 
because it feels like what Legos were, but but, uh, but digital and bad. Yeah, exactly this. Yeah, Dragon Quest has that Builder's game or whatever. That's very similar, except its aesthetic is actually somewhat appealing. I will not stop. I will not stop shitting on Minecraft. <laughs> I refuse. This is my outlet. This is all I can do to cope. My boy Travis got me costumed and didn't even get a song. I will bitch about Minecraft and how ugly it is as much as I damn well please. Not even Steve himself being in Smash. Like I said, I'm over it. Like I'm going I'm going full pessimist on that approach. But just in general, yo, fuck Minecraft. Oh, apparently I've already watched enough shit. Oh no. Oh no. I forget what his voice even was. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> no more heroes no more heroes is not cringy i mean it is but that's the point <laughs> no more heroes is subversive ass uh fourth wall breaking garbage it's the fucking deadpool of video games basically it's cringe as uh, as we called it during that one ace attorney case what are you talking about? Oh, I forget what his voice even was. Also, Minecraft designed through those things, Jessica. I saw that. <laughs> He's just gonna keep doing it. He's just gonna keep doing it. Oh. 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 I can't remember what his fucking voice was. I hate it. No, don't do the hustle. I could tell we were both, we were both of a feather, you and me. Not likely. I'd have to stop for that lady's attention to you, pal. Ooh, what are you shocking around here for then? You shook hands with the ham cucumbers to the five knuckle. No! Huh? Fuck you! No! Oh yeah, I was actually scoping out the competition. Uh. No, I'm done with you. I got this thing in order, like, gotta check out all places of the sorts to... Yeah, it's part of my creed. How about you? What are you doing here? Why would you ask? God, his, why is his smile so unnatural? Look at it. It's like, it's like he's made of silly putty and they stretched it out. <laughs> oh, I bumped the mic. I'm so sorry. All right, you, you got a, a girl in particular on your mind. You gotta watch it. The streets are no place for getting your freak on. Please don't make that sound. <laughs> Damn it, man! What's with all the moaning? What the fuck? No! How do you have that kind of staying power? Why do I keep asking you these questions? Slam the sa What the fuck? No! No, it does not. It takes all sorts, but not that kind. Did I really not have friendship with him yet? Oh my god, why? Oh, kinda hoping I don't. 
Oh my god, I thought we already started his. Oh. Majima needs help lasting longer. I mean, he's gonna end up in a relationship with an asexual man. So I don't know how much that's gonna benefit him in the long run. Let's see, does it? Like, I watched one of him. Does it tell me which ones I've watched? It doesn't, does it? That's unhelpful. More balloon animals. Also, yeah, his real name is Habu, apparently. Um, oh, I thought, real talk, I thought she was sitting on a toilet for a second and I was very concerned. It's like these videos are about to start going places. Yeah, we watched the, I remember we watched the blonde lady. And I think we watched Miho. Because she's the, uh, the convenience store lady and we recognize the name. What a great game. I am barely looking at it. <laughs> I am looking over my notes for the quests <laughs> and stuff I need to do to progress in them. You definitely don't remember this one secret. God. <sighs> Gotta lurk now and he falls asleep when he's fall asleep. No worries, pro help. You have a good night if you don't end up saying bye later. You get some rest. You've earned it. <laughs> Was the video to your liking? Yeah, not bad, I guess. I'm, I guess we're friends now. Ah. Uh, no, I have not found any hot chicks in the five minutes it's been since I talked to you. No, I don't go for that type. I don't have a type. No. Oh, and apparently I do. You got a problem with that? No, nothing, you know, just not even I go for that. But, hmm, she, maybe she's worth a second look. What the fuck? Don't act like you have standards all of a sudden, asshole. Whatever, let's hear you pick of the crop. Sure. Mm. That about covers it. Way too many. Just how horny are you, man? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> that's only the tip of the iceberg. Damn it, you win. What? What? I ain't never talked about this kind of thing before with anyone. That was really weird, even though we're both dudes and all. <laughs> what do you mean? The desire to have sex is nothing to be ashamed of. Every guy's bottled up in there somewhere. I bet you got a good feeling telling me about what kind of girls turn you on, right? It does kind of feel like a relief to get it off my <laughs> chest. See? No need to make a big secret out of it. Tell the whole world. No. Maybe you got a point. Osaka sure is crazy, though. Ain't no way to keep track of all the different kinds of places and different girls. Habu is your cousin, Queenie? Oh, man, I can see the family resemblance. Gotta show more, but more often to raise your batting average. Yeah, I guess. All right, my monster's roaring. I'm gonna go slay it. No. The reward for completing his friendship is actually really good. That's the only reason we're doing this. It's because I'm sure there's a good benefit to it. Guy's got the stamina of a horse. This still be has the point. He's not wrong. No, just because I'm asexual, like, I'm, <laughs> I'm asexual, but, like, I'm aware. I know, I know for normal people, obviously, there's nothing to be ashamed of, but just, he's going, he's going a little too hard.
I hope this is doing something for someone. Cause I'm I'm just fucking vibing. You see the uh, the see the Hoffer brothers down there on the sides of the uh, the uh, the event board. Uh, the green one to the, on the left hand side. Uh, that's me. Anytime we're watching these videos, I'm Yagaruma. It doesn't affect you in the slightest, Hyperion. Yeah. I do like the balloon animals. <laughs> I don't under I don't even understand what's up with the balloons, but fucking whatever. <laughs> now we have bisexual Apollo in the Greek myth canon. Oh shit! Bisexual Apollo is actually in canon with the lore behind his name. Case closed. There, see? I told you that both I told you that he was valid with both Clavier and Juni. That's all the evidence I need. Do we just gotta keep watching videos to build up friendship with you and get, get Mr. Libido? Oh no, Mr. Mr. Libido's gone. But let's see if we can uh You love that video, Queenie? Oh, good, good, good. I'm glad it's working for you. And you're going through a rough time with, uh, with your, your senpai not working out. So I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad to hear that you're, um, you know, you're, you're open to, to other women. He was trying to get with all the ladies now. He's loving up on this man. Hyacinthus? It takes like two to three visits for Mr. Libido events to occur. Okay, alright. Let's just go ahead and watch all these that we can now. I apologize if one ends up being a repeat. The only one I remember for sure that we watched before was the blonde girl. And uh, I'm the convenience store lady. Is that the girl from the cult sub story? Oh shit, it totally is. Yeah, yeah, all the names are the same. Yeah, you're fucking right. They're throwing a discus naked with olive oil on their bodies. Hmm. Kiwi, Kiwi does uh does hike hike a fanth or whatever. Does this is the does this is this hike a fanth uh person who Apollo is so smitten with? Uh, does he by any chance have a tan? Asking for science. You don't know? Hmm. Taking a break from daily routine is important, I guess. I suppose so. To make sure our shop provides a relaxing atmosphere for our customers, I keep the booths nice and tidy. I should hope so, considering what people do here. I appreciate that. Please come again. We'll be waiting. It says he's pale. Damn it! Experiment failed. It's clay then? It's clay then. Yeah, yeah, sure. We'll go with that. It's a shame that one's gonna end in tragedy. Thanks for the porn stream. Etika would have been... <laughs> Etika would be proud. Did Etika ever get around to playing Yakuza? I don't believe I remember him ever getting her, um, ever playing it. It's a, bad, it's a damn shame. He would have he would have enjoyed this one. Hi, synthesis actually dies up. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. And Jinx said, "I'm sorry. It's, this shit just happens." Y'all saw the Kool Aid incident yesterday. I just say bullshit, and it works out somehow. Still sad Etika never finished JoJo. Oh my god, he totally didn't, did he? Oh. God damn it, I'm sad.
Hope Sensei isn't mad. Dimitri walked off like he thought them doing something. Oh, I'm sure it's I'm sure it's fine, Queenie. They just weren't expecting you. I'm sure all will be forgiven. You'll still be invited to the baby shower and everything. Yeah, he did. I remember. Yeah, he, someone, someone. Uh, they made him watch the torture dance on stream at one point. Yeah, he did at least get to see that. He's like a sad from thinking about that. Like not finishing JoJo. Yeah, yeah, it's at least appropriate. <sighs> The disc fucking killed him? Oh, no! <laughs> He's like, man, you get, you keep going at this. Oh, poor, uh, poor historical clay. Did not fare much better than, uh, than present era clay. Hi, Majima -san. You look full of energy, as usual. You too. <laughs> then let's trade it for one of the best girls around town. I'd really rather not. What? A girl that cute would do that? Don't get pulled in by the pretty face. That girl's a freak. If you don't watch out, she'll maul ya. Man, she wasn't even on my radar. Oh, but I've got some juicy info for you, too. Yeah, got a name and a place. I do. <laughs> Interesting. You have good taste, Majima son. Never gonna catch up to you in numbers, though. Not that I want to. Gotta do my homework and focus on the few to get my hit right. What the fuck? <laughs> Why are we indulging him? That's dedication. I'll just go wherever my urges take me without thinking about anything. Nothing wrong with that either. I guess. More excitement when you're going in blind, right? What the fuck are we even talking about anymore? You know, when you try and play it safe, you spend a lot of time going through the photos to pick a girl you like. Even if the girl turns out to be just as hot as the photo, it still feels like something's missing. <laughs> I know, that's exactly it. Only made a taste of the thrills is to, uh, is to, I'm out for, is to jump in without choosing a girl and let fate be your guide. <laughs> You're a real natural at this. You come a long way in such a short time. Please don't talk, a, please don't use that word around me ever. Majima's only releasing his freak. Yeah, I mean, we've talked, I've, I've talked about that. The fact that I'm pretty sure Majima is actually a freak in, uh, in many, many meanings of the word under this slightly, uh, slightly sophisticated, uh, facade he's got going on. <laughs> Surprised myself. It's easy to talk about it now, too. Maybe my inhibitions are melting away. Gotta let it out, gotta let it out, gotta let it out, gotta let it out! You probably get a lot of stress in your job. You have to lay yourself bare, at least in your downtime. Yeah, it's definitely relaxing. Uh Whew, all this talk's gonna be frisky again. <laughs> Talking about life is... I need to go buff the- No! See you around. Are right, you gonna get out of Horned Jail free cards? We gotta do this for Mr. Libido? Yeah, sure. Yeah, we're calling a mulligan on Horny Jail tonight. Hmm. God, I wish these were marked. Did we just watch hers? Hers is the one we just watched, right? In his death, Apollo made hike a thin fly. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, sorry, I'm not, I'm not watching these very closely, so it's kind of hard to tell which ones we've seen already and which ones we haven't. <laughs> no offense, ma'am. <laughs> You're very pretty. I just ain't about that life. Ugh. You'd be scared to play this in front of others? Oh, yeah, no. No, totally, Abyss. <laughs> yes, your butt is cute, too, I guess. Good for you. Work it, girl. <laughs> Stop that. Good God. Why are these girls so cute? Because they're like actual either. I never did. I don't think anyone ever, ever told me for sure. Are these girls actually porn actresses, or are they just gravure models? Because there is a difference. Poor asexually confused. No, but no, I'm not confused. 
<laughs> I got myself pretty I got myself pretty figured out. Remember, I'm gonna be 30 this week. Actual, they are actual porn stars. Okay. Yeah, I was here. I was here. I, I was told that at first, and then somebody tried to say no. They're just arrow. Uh, they're just um, not arrow gay. Uh, they're they're just gravure idols. So I wasn't sure which was true. Another male lover. He's bi. Apollo is bi. Apollo is canonically bi, as foretold in the actual lore of the mythological figure he is named for. America. Miho, that's the, um... That's the clerk. So I think just these two. Is he really an ace attorney? He might as well be. Weren't all gods by most of the fuck most of the fucking um oh god what's the what's the branch term for all that lore kiwi is it Greek Greek gods pretty much all of the Greek gods were horny for anything that moved like most of them were bi if not full on omnisexual. Zeus impregnated a lady as a golden shower. I did not misspeak. That happened. She kind of looks like I from Club Mars. Is that I? I can't tell her name wasn't I, right? And I assume they all have the same name, or at least they have thus far. And a pregnant woman is a goose. Yeah, a goose as well. Majima, please take a break once in a while. I see you here a lot. You must love watching our videos. Wouldn't go so far as to say I love them, but yeah, I have come here fairly regularly. I've been meaning to ask you something. Have you seen any videos recently you thought were super hot outside of our shop? I don't really watch videos anywhere else. Oh, I see. Why so disappointed? I watch all the videos we carry here. I have to. It's part of my job. I became so used to watching erotic videos, but my little guy stopped responding to them. Why? Why? What? Erotic videos no longer arouse me. Why is... Not only videos, nothing excites me anymore. I'm scared it'll become a problem for me in my private life as well. Too much of a good thing, huh? Even I hooked up with a girl now, what if I couldn't get it up? I shudder to think of it. Well, I can see how that'd be a problem. Is this Java? I think this might just be Java. My only hope lies in finding a super hot video that can awaken my senses. So that's why you asked me for recommendations. Yes. Sorry I couldn't be a service. Don't worry about it. I'm sorry for pouring out my troubles to you like this. Come on now, don't be so down. I've been talking about outside with that other guy all night. It's fine. Well, please come again. I'll be waiting. Oh, is this an all... Oh, this isn't a Java thing. This is an all men thing. Okay. Good God. I'd say y'all have it rough, but I don't know. Fuck it. Uh, periods are probably worse. We all, we we both we both suffer in different ways. Gender equality and all that shit. You only had a period once, Abyss. That's not normal slash healthy. You should consult your physician at once. Didn't we already see this? Did we? I don't know. Again, I apologize. I'm not paying that close attention to these, and they're kind of starting to blur together. We've already watched this one? Okay. I'm glad you all are paying attention. Okay, I think that might be all we have for now, then. 
Oh, you can't have them. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, it's an actual con it's an actual pre Okay, all right. As long as you okay. My my bad abyss. I didn't know. Apollo can't catch a break. Oh no, is his new boyfriend dead? Bestie, what the fuck? Bestie, what the actual fuck? It's not a direct comparison. I'm just saying, generally speaking, we've all got problems. You guys are doomed to question your manliness because because of performance issues or, or fucking whatever whatever you call that shit. And we get cramps. The point is we all suffer in different ways. The nature of that suffering being different is a moot point. You'll admit that? Okay. All right. Oh, yes, I'm supposed to be partnering with places. Yes, absolutely. In fact, I think there was another one here that I, uh, Mashed, uh, mashed X past because I was fighting people. Oh, yeah. Let that child alone. It's not a child, it's a grown ass man, but whatever. Oh, yeah. I was, I'm shocked that's all the videos I have so far. I thought for sure I'd have more, but then I remembered, um, a lot of the, I like, because I found a lot of cards, but a lot of them are the same girls. Like, every girl has three different cards or whatever. His Cypress Tree boyfriend remains forever in mourning because he accidentally killed his beloved friend. Oh. God damn. So what I'm learning is the mythological Apollo suffered just as much as the actual Apollo. I mean, it's it's appropriate. Yeah, it makes sense. That's a shame, though. Know. Being Apollo is suffering. No, oh, you don't understand. It's fine. He's Apollo Justice, and he's fine. Oh, come on, sir. I'm just trying to buy real estate. At least has a close sister, Trucy Artemis. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's, um... I don't know. Would it, have been, would it have been a little too on the nose if they had named Trucy Artemis? <laughs> like, uh, uh, Apollo being her... Uh, her and Apollo being actual siblings was kind of like a big endgame plot twist. Like, if her name had been Ar Artemis, they probably would have... Uh, uh, it probably would have been a little too on point. You questioned a few hours ago in Discord, Kiwi? Shit, sorry, I missed it. <laughs> Oh shit, Nighty Night Hunter, you have a good one. Didn't Artemis pledge to stay a maiden forever? That would also be uh, right in line with uh, with my views on Trucy <laughs> and the uh, the no dating till uh, till college policy. Virgin goddess, all.
Yeah, get up on Buffer. The weird fam looked like I just finished him off with a falcon knee of justice. I mean, yeah. Majima knows that one. He's cool enough. Funny thing is, though, Artemis is older than Apollo. Oh, really? Okay. Still. Ah, oh, Majima-san, welcome. What'll I have today? I think I only fit one no matter what I do. Oh, well, that's fine. Expensive ass food. <laughs> Does Apollo have an older sister? Not to my knowledge. How was the food? Unless Lamar was also was into some freaky shit before we <laughs> when she was even younger than when she had Apollo. It was great, thanks. I'm happy to hear that. Please come again. Or I guess his dad. We didn't really know anything about his dad. His dad could also have another um. His dad also could have done some uh, some shenanigans before he met Lamar or whatever, and it could be another half sibling. They're twins, but also not because she helped her mother deliver Apollo? What the fuck? <sighs> Mythology is confusing. Oh man, it's Don Quixote. Or Quixote. Whatever the fuck Ian called it. Alright, uh, that's right. Let me, try, let me try and find some of those other girls I was recruiting. I've got a fancy wallet and a, uh, and a purse. So one of them definitely wanted the purse. I'm not sure about the wallet. Oh, yeah, also, you're, that's right, you're the Mr. Moneybags for this area. Progress through the main story. Oh. Zeus is 40. That's basically all you need to know. Leopard print clothing. Oh, I'm probably gonna need to go back there. I probably all, all the stuff these girls want, I probably I probably buy from that same store. Cause it seemed kind of uh, fancy schmancy. All right, leopard print, a nice accessory. Where are they? I know there were a bunch hanging up here before. Here's one. I think he may be the bag lady. Hey, perfect. There you go. Wow, this is very nice. Sure, I'll work at your club. I'm Harumi. Thanks. Silver. Okay, perfect. All right. Oh, so the restaurant. Yeah, no real need right now, unfortunately. Medusa was ugly because Athena got jealous. Oh, man, that doesn't sound like my baby girl. No child of mine. I apologize for abusing the duck shot so, so much, but I mean, it's so easy. <laughs> that guy's name was literally Sega. Wait a minute. Shit. Shit. I got a feeling I should be paying attention to these guys' names. Okay, never mind, Faruda. I'm not sure that one. Sega! I kind of want to beat up Sega. Sega has good IPs. Sonic just isn't one of them. Yo, lady, I ain't leopard print shit. <laughs> it's 
If so, you should give it to me. Sega doesn't make Minecraft. They're better than that. Ooh, watch. Oh, that actually might be what I need. That, that actually might work for uh, for that other lady who wanted an accessory, right? You are not the same lady, but what did you want? Brand name coat or scarf? God, I, w I wish these girls were marked on the map. <laughs> uh. Everyone's so greedy. Nobody wants a job. It's not enough I'm offering them a job. They're like, no. No, you gotta fucking give me something. Like, what? Oh, no, this is the weird little shortcut. Okay, let's see. First things first, I gotta get rid of some, uh... Get rid of some stuff. Because a lot of it's just, like, crafting material. Actually, none of it is. Oh man, Hubert built a shrine to you, Queenie? Well, that's good. At least some good came out of that. Alright, where was that pawn shop again? I don't know why I keep losing track of it. Again, it's it. It's, I'm just like, I'm, I feel like I'm, I keep trying to learn. I'm like trying to learn Boat 2 maps. Because both Majima and Kiryu are in different cities, and I just keep mixing the two up in my head. And there's no reason for it. Like, we spend long enough stretches of the game as, uh, as both of them. I shouldn't be getting it mixed up, but I am. Because I'm dumb. All right. Yeah, I'm, I get the feeling like all the gifts are gonna need are gonna be stuff that I buy from here. Let's see a scarf. Scarf. Leopard print. Good God. Leopard print. Expensive. And. One girl just said an accessory of some kind. I think, and I think we already have one that'll count, but just in case, I'll buy that as well. There, now to, now to find all these freaking women again. And then two more Barbie dress up. <laughs> Yakuza! Again, I hope nobody minds these long stretches of doing bullshit like this. It's kind of half the point of the game. An accessory ring, necklace, or bracelet. Yeah, yeah, I got that. There we go. Calling it for the night, nighty night dusk. You have a good one. Oh, we're your clubs. I can promise I'm it's too good. Thanks. Should we actually play Barbie at some point? No. Oh, you're only a bronze. Oh, God. Why did I even bother? Yeah, that's fine. Like I said, the, the main point is just I don't wanna I don't wanna overwork the other poor girls. Like I'm not sure what else I can do to uh, recover them help their health in between shifts other than just not have them work for a night, but I only have so few girls as it is.
bronze. Yeah, she's a yeah. She this bitch was decked out in all gold, and yet is only a bronze. Absolutely false advertising. Disgusting. Also, yeah. So I didn't see that wrong. I have been getting a lot of crafting stuff. I guess crafting is just um a separate category that does not take up regular inventory. I suppose that would make sense. Meats. All right, come on. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what you'd mark them with, but like, I do wish they'd mark the girls. It's like I don't remember where they all are. I know there were a lot up top, so I guess let's just go up top. Leopard print, yep, you got it. Cheapest one. I'm Ume, thanks! Another bronze, lady, you're killing me! Eh, whatever, it's fine. Like I said, the ranking, I'm, I'm guessing as we progress, the, uh, the lower rank ones are gonna start being all but useless. <laughs> then again, I don't know, like, I haven't... Is Yuki just the only plat? Well, no, that wouldn't make any sense. Like, because then why is it even a mechanic? Why is it not just, hey, Yuki mode? Like, there have got to be other platinum hostesses. Like, Yuki's special, but she ain't that special. Surely not. And because when there was one other one up here. Or no, maybe I'm thinking of the one down here, the one who wanted the scarf. What about Rhea? I'm sorry, my I'm sorry, my queen, my em your eminence. I know you have a busy schedule. I do believe you may or may have a typo or two, and I don't quite understand what you're asking. <laughs> it's to be it's it's it's, it's to be expected. You are a very busy, you are a very busy woman. You don't have time to check everything. Oh, am I actually Raya? No, no. No, I'm not, I'm not near, uh, my booty is not nearly that dummy thick. Yeah, I'm just me. I'm also not secretly a dragon. I'd be kind of down with that, but nah. Your wrist is cracking, Kiwi. That's not good. You should probably take a rest. There you go. Here I go. Thanks. Oh, okay, a silver. I'll take it. Alrighty. Okay, we've got a couple of new people now. I think that may be about the only, um... I think those are about the only other ones I remember seeing around town. All right, we've actually we've actually got people to work again now. Let's go do Barbie Dream House dress up at least one more time. Silver and yeah, yeah, she was actually wearing the right color. Good God, they keep respawning in the same area. Stop beating up people in this exact same spot, sir. It's predictable. Yeah, she's actually uh, she's actually advertising appropriately. She's fun.
the queen. Kamakura, Kamakura, yeah, queen. My God. I like how they're giving me all the stuff I could have probably given as uh, gifts to these ladies now. At least one of them just wanted a accessory. So the watch probably could have qualified. Oh shit, I wonder. Aww. Let's try going back to the disco club first. I wonder, once we beat, uh, once we beat Dancing Queen, will, uh, will she come join our club? She might. He powered up as I spun around. Yeah, it was impressive. <laughs> and that's what I'm trying to think. Like, I, I'm pretty sure every side quest we've had involving a girl has ended up joining our club. Except, um... Is the girl... I don't think the, um... The girl who we pretended to... The girl who we pretended to be her boyfriend. Like, she's not one of them, I don't think, actually. Like, I don't think she's joined us. She is a woman. She is a woman. She is a woman, but also yes, I don't know for sure if all of them have or not. All right. Let's see if we can do this. We're going to get our ass kicked. Whoa! So excited! I can't wait! What's with the mob? Old man, explain! Good luck! I beat him in a music playing competition, yep. Yeah. Oh man. Uh, you're here. Remember, Dancing Fever? I will try my best, Bestie. What's with the massive crowd? Isn't it obvious? They're our audience. They're here to watch our showdown. I told you, didn't I? If we just started dancing, it would have been chaos. An event like this seems to be announced in advance. Now we can expect there to be a bit more order, don't you think? Yeah, that's true enough, but man, I just can't believe this many people are gathered just to see us throw down. <laughs> you must not realize how big a star you are here among us Maharaja dancers. They look up to you. Of course, right now, you're playing second fiddle to me. <laughs> ha! Give me a few minutes. I'll turn that ranking right on its head. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Still, when we first met, you didn't know the first thing about dance battles. Now you're trying to knock me off the throne. Even though I knew this could happen, I'm still a little shocked the day has come. <laughs> it's been one night, ma'am. We've waxed enough nostalgia. This crowd showed up to see a dance battle, and we're gonna give them one, right? Yes, you're right. We're dancers. We settle things on the dance floor, not with words. But enough talk. Have at you! Majima Kun, are you ready? I gotta take oh. a leak. I saw that shit. My feet have got the rhythm. I'm ready to go. I got the music in me. Ready to roll. Shannon from Maharaja's top dancer begins now. Let's get it on! Ah, baby! Am I explaining my torture plans of Ra Raja Retinas all over again? No, no, I'm not. <laughs> I don't have to. Mythology does it for me. Dancing Tuni, literally dancing Tuni. The hotshot one I did. The hotshot one I did. There goes like a fellow generator, Miss Sebe, and her fan dance. I can't believe I've seen this. Fan dance? Oh, you didn't know? I have my own original dance style. I use my fan and steps and add a touch of elegance. Do you now? Looking forward to seeing that. I'm gonna get my ass kicked. Okay, Majima Kun, this is it. Time for you to fully understand why I'm the Maharaja's goddess of dance. Let's see you surpass me. Oh, man. My character? Yeah, this is just you, Queenie. We all know you're the real dancing queen. Young and sweet, only 17. See that girl? Watch that scene. Digging the dancing queen. Oh, man, she's actually got it. Oh, look at her. Ah, damn. <laughs>
God damn it. Oh god. Oh man, see, no, that's just DDR. That I can handle. Not even close. <laughs> God, do I actually have to beat her to win this? Probably, right? What's the name of the song you need to compare them? <laughs> I'm not sure. I win, Master Raccoon. I'm not handing my crown to you. Not yet, anyway. Ah! Damn it! But I can tell you have a beat yet. You just need time. We can rematch, rematch whenever you're ready. God damn it. I actually do have to beat her. Oh, no. I did pretty good. Uh. No, not normal! No! Fucker! No! God damn it. Well, well, this is gonna be a dry run. Uh. Yeah, I saw, like, I'm, I'm obviously keeping mo mostly an eye on my own. I'm not just exiting out and quitting is just to, you know, try and get the rhythm down. Granted, I don't think it matters. Because on normal, the, uh, the steps are going to be a little different, I think. Again, if it's anything like DDR... Oh, come on. God, the fact the fact that I can bump into the walls and it like pauses, that is what's killing me. I'll never beat you, no. No, I definitely won't, Queenie. I mean, not on normal, anyway. Maybe if I can actually hit the right difficulty. Eventually. I wasn't... Th I actually was not that far away from her. On easy. Yeah, yeah, do your... Do your victory. That's fine. Really was easy for the default. Ah, uh, Disco will not die. Disco will Disco will never die. That's not that is very true. Might save me a fuck up too much. Yeah, yeah. I just got. I also got to remember to do that.
freaking... I cannot deal with the timing on these rings either. Like the fact that it's okay if it's a little inside the box, but not if it's a little outside. That is also really throwing me off. <sighs> God, I'm doing worse. Ugh. She better be a fucking host. She better be. For the work I am putting in, she fucking better be. Ah, God. And the fact, and again, the weird X, the weird waiting to progress thing that sometimes happens. <laughs> the fact I have to watch her whole taunt dance every time I lose. Ah. No! Fuck it! And the fact that easy is not the default. Like, come on, please. What? How? Oh, I'm trying. Yes. Yes. Please. God. Yep, yep, that's fine. That's fine. Yep, I, I, I got it, ma'am. Yep. Watch the whole camera pan. <laughs> she better be a hostess and she better be at least a gold one. <laughs> Fucking God! <laughs> it doesn't even ask me to confirm! Oh my God! <laughs> this is my hell. <laughs> this is my hell. And I have to wait until it actually starts to actually be able to quit! <sighs> there, thank you. Yes. Yes. Stop doing it so fast. I'm trying! It's not my fault. I'm trying to gloss through the text as fast as possible. That is just like, oh, you're wanna, you wanna go? Here, yeah, we fucking go. Like, no. It's like, it pops up right away and normal's the default. There is no waiting period. <sighs> maybe she'll be a platinum, maybe. At least, I haven't seen any other platinums. Besides Yuki.
fucking god. She keeps doing better and better. <laughs> she literally just keeps doing even better every time. Ah. Oh. Yeah, she only got like just over like like 5,000 or something the first time. And she's just gotten better every time since then. God, that, those ones kill me. The ones that come right after each other like that. When, like I said, you can't press it before. Fuck, God damn it. God, she's just slaughtering me. Like, you look at the actual step she's getting, she she is slaughtering me every time. Like, I generally don't think I can do it. <laughs> I passed her at one point, good God. Fucking... Yeah, that's the other thing. Keep in mind, I cannot watch the scores anytime I'm doing this. Like, I have no idea what the mo most successful runs have been. No. Yes? Yes. Good God. I also can't watch when fever time is, barely. Like, I think I've been getting it about when I can do it, as soon as I can do it, but, like, it's, it's hard. It's hard to keep an eye on anything else. I wish this were just DDR. If this were just regular ass DDR, I would destroy her ass. Ugh.
Yeah, see, you're getting the fever times over there. After a certain point, there's no point. <laughs> uh, I mean, there probably is, like I said, to keep getting the uh, the beat down. The problem is, like, you can, it's it's hard to keep the beat because you have to keep getting the extra steps in. And there's just oh, I bumped the mic. <laughs> there's no optimal way to do that. I mean, there is, but like, you got to get as many fucking steps in. Like, you can't worry about following the beat when you're trying to do the extra ones in between. Not to the degree of the, not with how much, how fast, how much faster she's doing them. Ugh. God, I'm gonna have to do this all over again as Kiryu. Did she mess up the fever? Maybe. That may have been what that may have been why she that's probably why she scored low a couple times, but again, I can't watch what she's doing. Fucking fuck you, Mr. Sobe! 
too good. I won't get a wink of sleep tonight. I fucking will. Woo! Yeah! Do the retirement! <gasps> God. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Kiwi. <laughs> you don't know if that was happy or relief screaming? Yes. <laughs> or, or happy, relieved, or fuck this screaming? The answer is still yes. <sighs> that was some performance. You outshine me in every way. I never had a dance battle this fiery. You don't seem all that upset by it, if I'm being honest. I don't know. The queen is quite perturbed. I suppose it's not because I'm all that. It's because I'm not all that surprised. I half expected this from the moment I first saw you. Having said that, I must say you've truly blossomed into an incredible dancer since uh. then. Well, I owe you big time for that. Would have been nice to find out about this dance battle thing. Or would never have found out about this thing if it weren't for you. Who knows what's supposed to on all this stress? Well, then I suppose it's my own fault. If I didn't tell you about this, I could have kept my status as number one dancer. On the other hand, you made me realize how much fun it can be to dance your best. It's all good in the hood. If you say so, lady. Oh, right. Majima Kun, there's one thing I have to ask you. Yeah, shoot. Do you like dancing? Ah, can't get much simpler than that. Yeah. When, I, when I'm not against unfair opponents like you, yes. Workout's fun. <laughs> uh, workout this fun is hard to come by. That's good. You're going to become a spiritual icon to Maharaja's dancers. Wouldn't it be right if you didn't like to dance? Yeah, that'd be a crying shame. Well, you're now the top dancer at Maharaja's Sotenbori. You should have this. I'd really, really much rather you just join my club. This is the fan you were using. So much fluff and feathers on it. Yes, that's right. It's proof of your victory. Who knows? If you work this fan into your routine, you may discover some dancing you didn't know you were capable of. Hmm. Interesting. And we're on the cusp of a trend here. Dancing with the fans is really going to take off, I bet. I don't know, man. It didn't work out so well in that one Star Trek movie. You really think so? You doubt me? Wasn't I spot on when I predicted you'd become the greatest dancer we know? I wouldn't be so quick to dismiss my, dismiss my intuition. I can't argue with that. Is Majima actually going to use a fan to fight at some point in one of the later games or some shit? Because that'd be pretty fucking rad. He'll sometimes use a fan when I do fever time. Oh, okay, cool. Besides, now you're a dancer everyone looks up to. If you use that fan in your routines, maybe the others will emulate your style. Just humor me, okay? Give it a shot. <sighs> Can't see any self-respecting soul waving around this goofy looking fan. Majima Kun, the future of Maharaja? No, the whole dance scene. It's in your hands. Take care, champ. Yeah, be good to yourself, eh? I am the Swan Queen. Anyway, I think my first request is the new number one dancer. It's another dance to celebrate. Hit it! She's not going to join my club, is she? Majiba just uses a knife. Oh, not even for Kiryu. You don't think he'd whip out the fans for Kiryu? That's a shame. Okay. I'm going to go down here to my, uh, to my, to my fine, uh, establishment. And, uh, and she's going to be waiting in the alley. She's going to be waiting in the alley and be like, Yo, I'll join your club! And she's gonna be gold or maybe even platinum. Surely. I mean, yes, I, I believe, now that I'm thinking about it, a couple of girls haven't joined us just because they were sub-stories for him. But sure, but surely, surely she will. This is a prequel, yeah. Yeah, this game was made much later than uh, than most of the Yakuza games. So if uh, if Majima does fight with a fan at some point, then it would make sense to uh to kind of shove that back into the lore here. All right, it's here. Yes! <laughs> oh, Majima Kun, good to see you. Hey, you're Missy Sobe, goddess of Maharaja. In the flesh, how's it going? Are you still dancing? Well, you know, here and there. That's no good. Then why on earth did I entrust the Maharaja? Why did I entrust the future of dance to you? Well, it's easier said than done. I gotta manage a cabaret club and do other things, so I can't always be dancing. Oh, I didn't know you were doing that. I guess you're busy. 
Fine, I'll help you then. Oh. Eh, help? You mean with the cabaret club? Sure, if I worked there, the sales at your club would go way up. I figure that'll make your life easier and give you more time to dance with Maharaja, Majima Kun. Hey, this job ain't exactly a cakewalk, but if we got a name like you at the club, I bet we'd get your fans to give us a real sales boost. For sure, then it's settled. My next dance routine will be at Club Sunshine. <laughs> oh, you're all right, Mrs. Sobe. You're all right. I ain't even mad anymore. I ain't even mad. Just emotionally traumatized. I'll be brilliant on any stage I'm on. I'm looking forward to it, Majima Kun. Uh. Yeah, thanks a lot for your help. Hey. All right. She saved it. She brought it back. And she brought it back. Okay. Thank God. <laughs> oh, shit. Are we actually done? Oh. Oh, do we? Is that all we need? Oh, shit. I was actually going to go into service again. Congratulations, Majima Sun. We topped 1,500 fans from the Club Mars area. Well done, Yoda-chan. Looks like our hard work's paid off. Yes, but Hino ain't gonna take this lion down. Oh no, this is really bad. Simmer down, Yuki-chan. Don't cause a ruckus. I can't simmer down. We got a challenge from Club Mars. A challenge, huh? Looks like we're finally going up against him head-to-head. -head. Wonder how that works. According to this challenge, it says we fight out in the Cabaret Club battle. Cabaret Club battle? Was it? No clue. Oh no. A cabaret club battle. <laughs> What's the matter, Yoda chan? Pull yourself together. You know something about this cabaret battle thing? Yes. It's so important. Cabaret clubs industry's rare but terrifying method for clubs to duke it out. Two cabaret clubs compete by running their businesses and determining who made more money. Ah, uh, sounds pretty normal to me. Why is that so terrifying? Oh shit, adios, Queenie. You have a lovely evening. The losing club. In the worst case scenario, the losing club has to close up shop. Seriously? A cabaret club battle puts the club's prestige on the line. The losing club will be branded as loser and its reputation forever ruined. Fans will drift away. As a result, many clubs have been forced to close. Really? The so-called battle has that much influence? Yes, it does in certain Bori. There are many customers who chose a club based on the results of the recent battle. The Five Stars have felt their power by defeating their competition in Cabaret Club battles and shutting them down. And now we might be next. So the gist of this battle is that it's so important it could shut down the club, right? Majima-san, you're going to accept Tino's challenge, right? Uh. Yeah, I was gonna. Maybe we better talk about that some more, though, you know? If you've got any reason you want to back down, Yoda-chan. To be honest, I don't want to lose Club Sunshine. Yeah, I hear ya. But if we back down now, there'll be no future for certain boys' cabaret clubs. Majima-san. Yeah. Let's do it. We'll do the cabaret club battle. We can't let the five stars continue their reign of terror. Yoda-chan. <laughs> You're pretty tired going to Might 2 Abyss. Oh, nighty night. You have a good one. Love ya. If we're going to do this, we're going. I we're doing it to win. I might not be much help, but I'll try my best. I'm also very tired, apparently. Heh, <laughs> of course. <laughs> I'll help. I'll work as much as I'll work as much of my, as my salary can cover. That'd be no different than any other day, wouldn't it? Yes, I always put in a hundred percent. I'm totally not half-assing this. Club well, Mars is a powerful opponent. Let's make sure to um make sure to sort out the staff lineup and get ready before we do this. Okay. Well, it's a good thing I I picked up all those uh I picked up some new uh, hostesses then. Let's see, there's a, uh, a save point in, like, the back room here, I think, right? Like, I don't have to exit out of the club completely and come back, I don't think, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, good. Special training, also special training, yes, absolutely. Yeah, get Yuki, uh, get her game face on for this. Maja Basan, do you want to run the cabaret club? Alright, let's do it. Yes, let's. 
Got your tea and snack secret. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. God, hopefully, uh, I forget if the, does the special training also improve her condition? I feel like we're gonna need her. Ready for another round? Yes, please. Wow, you, John, you got those battle butterflies all sorted out, don't you? Well, it is just you, Majima-san. Mm -hmm. Hey, we'll have none of that now. Thanks. Er. All right, I'm the customer. You're the host. The same as always. You ready? Yeah, of course. Welcome to Club Sunshine, Yuki. I mean, customer. Mmm. <sighs> Not quite ripe yet. Majima-san. Wonder how many of these conversations there are? I don't know. Good question. How how far do their levels go up? Like, do <laughs> I'm curious, like, uh, she's, like, what, level 10 already or some shit? Like, I'm curious what the, uh, the cap is on those as well. Hey, Yuki-chan, you're looking cute as ever today. Huh? Yeah, what's with the creepy giggles? I'm trying to talk to you like a customer would. <laughs> Sleepy time, Kiwi. Nighty night. You have a good one. <sighs> you get plenty of rest, Kiwi. You've earned it. Reading about Apollo's horrible love life. Ah, whatever works. At least you're doing okay when it's me you're practicing with. Uh, <laughs> おかげさまで慣れてきました。最近はお客さんとの会話もすごく続くようになったんですよ。なんだかお仕事楽しいです。ふん。That's Hobbies. Oh, yeah, I seem to recall yours was, uh, bonsai, right? Hey! Majima hive mind. Of course! Ah! <laughs> when you're working at a cabaret club, a steel memory is half the battle. Yeah, customers like when you remember things about them. Speaking from experience, uh, my old, uh, my old day job. I still remember some facts about some people. Like, good God, it's like useless information. Get out of my brain. Practically got a case file on your, um, case file on your customers. Way to go, Yuki-chan. できることからコツコツやっていこうと思って。まあ、まだまだ全然ですけどね。もっと頑張らないと。Hey, <laughs> that's some good stuff right there, Yuki-chan. You got a real long way. So the club's come quite a long way, has it? And you've been here since the beginning to see it all change. はい。そうですね。古株 been really into part six so far. You weren't expecting to be only in a prison. Is it actually all in a prison? <laughs> I didn't. I didn't realize that either. The entire thing has taken place inside a prison so far. Oh my god. If that's true, real talk. Real talk. I'm gonna say this right now. I think I've mentioned this before when when someone asked me about it. If part six gets animated. And at least one of the ending themes, if there are multiple. Uh, if the if the ending theme is anything other than Telephone by Lady Gaga and Beyonce, they have failed. Studio David has utterly failed at everything. It has to be. It actually has to be. Yeah, remember when this place had but three girls in it, including you? So tell me something. Why is a girl like you working in a club like this anyway? 
I thought we established this. So she was she's basically a less extreme version of the dominatrix lady, right? She just wanted to learn how to talk to people better, face her fears and all that. Last time I asked, you cleaned up just like this. Maybe it's time you cleared the air. Oh shit, actually. Okay, never mind. They've got some really not good guards out now. That sounds no bueno. Really? In this day and age, companies are practically hiring bums off the street, yet you couldn't get a bite? Oh, honey. I was gonna say, are you just that bad at interviews? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. I know that feel. No. Honesty is a talent. I don't know. You know what? No, fuck those guys. <laughs> Letting someone like you slip through the cracks was a mistake, Yuki-chan. Those fool companies were clueless. They did a good job with the facial animation? Yeah, they really did. I know this isn't, like, the most advanced engine they have in, like, uh, 6 and Kiwami 2. I believe they use a newer one. I'm like, ah, th this, this, looks, this looks incredibly good to me. Look around you. It's the times we live in. Everyone's dressed to the nines and lies and vanity trying to one-up the competition. But you don't do that. You just put yourself out there the way you are. Honest almost to a fault. I want to work with people I can believe in. I'd hire an awkward gal who can't tell a lie over a bunch of smooth talk and suck you by any day of the week. Oh. Oh. I think I might want to protect that smile, guys. Really? Well, then, I'm glad you got rejected, too. If you weren't here at the club, who knows what would have happened. <laughs> when I reach Shaka Zutu, can't wait to see my reaction to the new engine in a good or bad way. Is it just that much more high-end than this, even? So how'd it happen? I imagine you must have met Yodachan somehow, huh? Yes. <laughs> Interesting. I wonder what Yodachan, what possessed Yodachan to roll in, roll up on you, roll up on you. Like that's a weird phrase. Part seven's premise most interesting. Paraplegic man in the 1800s. He also still fights. Yeah, no, I'm interested to see what the hell Part Seven's about. Just showing the exact premise. She's super sweet. You actually care about her fucking rights, Spice. Good God. <laughs> I was not. I was not. I. I kind of wish I'd given her like a more distinct voice, like maybe Maya or something. I was not expecting her to be uh, to be this uh, this one endearing and two kind of key to this uh, this whole mini, this whole subplot. I see. Nah, nah, I disagree. So, Yuki-chan, if you could get a normal day job now, would you still want to go in, um, would you still want to go do that instead of the cabaret club? Well, yeah, because this place was basically ready to go under. <laughs> you actually really like Yuki so far. You hope the other platinum hostesses are this good. Oh, definitely, yeah. Yeah, they got some uh, some big shoes to fill. Whenever we actually find them, I'm I'm curious. Like, are they gonna like maybe they're lo they're locked behind um progress or uh, fucking um I's definitely gonna join us, right? Like once we take down um uh Tubby Peewee. 
Like, that's that's where this is going. Like, she's got to be one, right? I see. I almost butt mashed X. <laughs> Luckily, like X is never an option on these. Uh... You gotta get sexier. <laughs> you can network here. I'll work you hard. Mm. Uh... Well, no, I mean, does she really want to leave? I don't think so. Like, networking here would not be a bad idea if she actually wants to leave, but as long as this place is actually, you know, not, um... Not going under and under decent management, I would think she'd want to stay here. And, and also learning. Like, she wants to learn. She wants to keep learning. Um, I'll be a slave driver! Fair warning, I'm gonna put the screws to you. That's... About the worst possible way I could have phrased that. Fuck. Okay, never mind. She's into it. <laughs> You've changed, Dookie Chan. Look at that confidence. I bet you'd ace a company interview now. <laughs> Fucking goober. <laughs> Just make sure you don't laugh like that at the interview. They'll kick you right out. It's kind of creepy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You think she's just into Majima? She is probably just into Majima. To be fair, who can blame her? You're gonna suggest Triangle, but hey, Triangle probably would have been... Uh, I don't know. That got me a lot of points. I don't know. Maybe that was an either-or situation. Alright, let's call it a day. Good job, Yuki-chan. Yeah. <sighs> Oh no, Yuki, don't start yawning. I'm already yawning, honey. No, no. Ugh. God damn it. Yuki. You getting enough sleep at night, Yuki chan? Uh, oh, I see. A late night guest, huh? Are all the platinum hostesses gonna fall in love with Majima? <laughs> um, let's see. We're, we're we're gonna be doing this little the special training with all of them, I assume, right? Like we're gonna have these one-on-one -on -one conversations with any ones we get. I have to assume. Yeah, they're probably all gonna fall in love with Majima. <laughs> I am Tuxedo Mask, and you will all be my Sailor Scouts. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Sailor Mars is already joining us. Why the fuck not? <laughs> um, I'm not gonna assume the worst. I'm not gonna... I'm not, like, I wish that implies, like, she's off fucking... fucking uh, she's off having guys over or whatever. No, I'm just fucking take care of yourself. Nothing, nothing. Just get your beauty sleep, Yuki-chan. I'll stay in my own lane. Lack of sleep's bad for the skin, and doubly bad for if you fall asleep on the job. <laughs> now you're super bad. We don't have any guys. Oh, man. Like I said, even if we couldn't, like, have any male hosts here as well or whatever, it's like, I wish you could have... <laughs> God damn it. Oh, that would have been so good. Shit. Yeah, nothing wrong with going out for a night on the town. Just don't overdo it, okay? She is probably not fucking random guys off the street. She probably had a relative in town or some shit. Don't be a bad boss, Majima. Alright, we can call it a day there. Thank you for the lesson. 
Sure thing. Good job. So let's see. Perfect lesson. The dudes just fall in love with Majima too. That'd be so fucking good. Having such a good time. I practically forgot we were training you. Really? Are you gonna say the thing about the chocolate on the dashboard? God damn it, Majima song! I don't understand what that means. Please. <laughs> I'm so confused. Oh, never mind. Now she's level ten. Okay, so the cap is definitely not level ten. God damn. Oof. Alrighty. Let's see. I did save, right? God, that didn't replenish her health at all. Shit. She can't deal with it. She cannot deal with the fact that the chocolate's melting. God, I hate to get rid of some of my best ones. It's like they do still have health left, is the thing. Are they, or no, that's experience, isn't it? I saved before perfect training. Yeah, yeah, I did. Let's just see how many people we actually have here. All right, you absolutely. I would say I would say hell yes, but she's in 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 dire straits right now. I was gonna say I need I need someone else who's good at talking. Oh wait, oh no, you're you're good at it too. Okay. Dolly needs to go home to her dollar. Yeah, yeah, no, Dolly, Dolly can take the night off. Uh grandma, you've got nothing better to do. Yuki, you definitely need the break. But also, um, but also I think we need you. I'm gonna try and just I'm gonna make a mental note to just try and not use her until um until I'm ready for a fever time and uh, hopefully be able to restore her health a little bit hopefully it'll work out I did save first so uh so no worries if something goes horribly wrong here hopefully we'll be okay Moss, uh, Club Moss is Hino, right? You're the other one who dragged your ass to the nest. Want to take a swing and see what happens? Ha! Don't get cocky, you little roach! I could crush this club under my foot anytime I feel like it! Then do it, asshole! Looking forward to seeing, it, seeing you try. Wait and see who gets crushed. You insects sure do dream big these days. No Oi. grip on reality. Answer me this, Goro Majima. What is the most powerful thing in the world? Huh? It's money! You're a winner if you have money! And if you don't, you're a loser! And me? I have money! Lots of it! <laughs> Expensive liquor! Great food! Too much great food! Hot women! If you have money, you can have anything! Everything! If I want more customers, I can even pay for them! How do you think a piss poor cabaret club like you is gonna win against what's in my wallet? Beats me! Won't know until we try! But you know... Running a club takes more than the cash you put in it. Huh? You continue to annoy me, you fly! Kanashiro? <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna really enjoy watching you worm squirm around on the ground, begging not to die! Alright, let's do this thing. Club Sunshine, we're open for business. Yeah. Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so not threatened. Oh, 
Let's see who else is good at talking. You. Bragging about hot women, yeah, yeah. He feels like he's here. He feels like he's trying very hard to uh, to cover up for something. Uh, menu. Menu. Hey, that's actually the first time I've seen that, but it just it looked like it looked like a menu folding out. I got lucky there. Uh, menu? Again? Menu. Suddenly can't stop getting that, apparently. Uh-oh. What does that mean? What? What happened? They stole my people! How in the fuck? Is there anything I can do about that? I feel like I gotta keep trying to extend sessions. Oh man, they're uh. And they're kicking our ass so far, it looks like. I guess. I think someone said it was smarter to, um. To just go ahead and use the, uh, the fever time or whatever that is. Um, ladies class. Rather than wait and save up for the level three, like just use level one as soon as you, as soon as it's a good, it's a good opportunity. So as soon as we have at least four people back in here at the same time, I'll go ahead and use it. Which right now. God damn it! No, 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 no! Sunshine fever! What? No! They left! They left again! Motherfucker, really? Wow, they're destroying us. Oh, this is rough. I am absolutely losing to this fucking gingerbread man because I used my fever time the second he decided to steal my customers again. Wow. <laughs> Fucking give expensive gift. Word of mouth bonus, I'm gonna assume that's good. Um ladies class. Oh god. No win scenario. Alright. Uh, ashtray. At least I'm learning the hand signs. Uh, uh, uh. 
I'm not sure if that meter is that money or is that his fucking fever time bullshit. Um, ladies' class. Menu. Yeah, like he's got. I don't think it's their health necessarily. He's just got some kind of meter that he's waiting to uh, to pop off. No, 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 no! I was gonna do it! I was gonna do that! Come on! Do not take my people again! Do not take my people- God fucking damn it! I think I just have to- I have to do it before they do it. I keep doing it, like, right after they- he does his. Okay, yeah, no, I, I, I can't tell. No, it, 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 it is money. Yeah, they're creaming us. Ugh. God, yeah, I definitely need help. Yeah, because I kept giving out expensive gifts on top of it. Yeah, shit. Not even close, really. Wow. Oh, no. Bad end. <laughs> Damn it! We lost. This is gonna be good for our reputation. Ha ha! <laughs> Bye! Oh. Uh. Let's challenge him again. Okay. Oh, is that okay? It's nothing. It's actually nothing dire. Shit. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know if it's worth reloading or not. Because I have to also do all of Yuki's special training. Like, I'm not sure what he means. By, I'm, not, I'm not sure what he means by our reputation. Like, I'm not sure how much that got, uh, that got lowered. Episode title, Beating the Gingerbread Man. Yeah, probably. Also, wait a minute. Is that a radio? Is that a motherfucking radio? Oh, I can't do anything with it. Damn it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't like. I don't know what the actual consequences of that are. I don't know if it's worth reloading or not. Or something with the disco mini. Yeah, I was gonna say it depends on what the thumbnail is. It's either it's either gonna be the dramatic showdown of uh, Majima standing next to the gingerbread man, or it's gonna be fucking disco lady. <laughs> I'm not sure. It's gotta be one of those though, definitely. Post to health down night now too. Yeah, yeah. Okay, here's what we're gonna do, I think. I think we're gonna we're gonna do a couple of regular surfaces, because there's no downside to just doing that instead, right? I don't believe that, yeah, because we couldn't even use Yuki. Like granted, none of the people really seem to need like her tonight, but um, but nonetheless, I like to have Yuki in my back pocket. So let's see. Let's see. All right, we're gonna. What we're gonna do is use all the people who are um, like relatively low level. And uh, and not already uh, keeled over. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll have exactly eight people who are, um, you know, silver or higher. Okay, yeah, like, th this should be enough. Like, we've never had a packed house on these lower, uh, these lower levels, it seems like, so far. So, yeah, we're, we're, we're kind of understaffed, but, uh, but, yeah. We'll go in with, uh, our B team here, for lack of a better term. And, uh, let all the, uh, the big, the big fish rest up. I think that's probably the smartest way to go about this. Yes, 
Shame I apologize. <laughs> I apologize for anyone who's not into this aspect of the game or watching other people play this mini game in particular. But uh, they, 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 as far as I'm concerned, this is serious business. And that guy wasn't going to be too terribly happy with anything. And also, yeah, I just got to really book it on using, um, on using the, uh, not the, what, sun, sun, whatever, whatever the, the meter is there at the bottom that I'm building up to. Like, I've just got to use it pretty much as soon as possible. Like, I cannot let them use it first or they will steal my people. Right, I don't know. I, I actually don't know if that's a preventive measure or not. Like, I don't know if using it first will stop them from stealing my people. But, like, who knows? Maybe I can steal theirs first or some bullshit. Oh, you're not going to be happy no matter what I do. Okay. It wouldn't be into this? I don't know. I... I... <laughs> I I, I think you'd be insane not to be into this, but also maybe not necessarily watching other people. Oh, it actually worked. Okay. Well, like, well, this is a blast to play. I'm not sure how interesting it might be for other people to uh, to watch. Okay, yeah, you weren't going to be happy no matter what I did. Also, I should totally use that. We're almost full. I'm getting the hand signals, too. That'll help. I'm not 100% sure on what refill ice is, but that's only because I don't think we've even seen refill ice. Where in the money? Come on, the honey. I don't know if it was smart to go ahead and use that again or not, but we did it. You love this music? This music's real good. The music's definitely the music definitely helps. I should not. Well, no, nah, we if if our I don't know. I don't know if again I don't know what it actually affects or not. But if our reputation supposedly was affected by uh by losing that fight, then word of mouth is good, right? Yeah, this is a fantastically designed minigame. Oh, you're you're not gonna be happy no matter what I do, are you? Well. I'm sorry, sir. It's not my fault that well actually it is my fault. We're understaffed. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, let's see if I uh, the off chance one of the other girls made him happier. God damn. Y'all are picky. Y'all are so fucking picky. I'm not having. I'm, I wonder if the fact that I I basically only have the option to um to give them a gift or a, set, a gracious send off has anything to do with uh, the fact that we lost that. Um, ice. So that's that's the only signal I signal I didn't recognize. So I assume that's the last one. Uh, I'll take average. Oh. 
ご炎症はいかがでしょうかありがとうございます。Pleasant to look at. These are still also being a challenge, but great music and storyline. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. The fact, the fact that the guest refill is an L. <laughs> like, I don't know. I know it probably tracks differently in Japan, but, uh. But as a filthy American, I just take that as them calling the guest a loser. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just no pleasing some people. Yep, that worked once. Come on, can we get one more in here? I can give one last fever time? God damn it. Come on, everybody, cheer up! Cheer up, crew cut! Spend more money! Give me your money. I'd like to, but I can't. Give me your money. I'd like to, but I'm homeless. Alrighty. Excellent. Okay. All right, I'm going to go save the game again in a different slot, just in case, like, it permanently screwed something up for some reason. Doesn't seem like it did. And we'll try the, uh, we'll try that battle again with our, uh, with our full A squad. Fucking pudgy Japanese Pee Wee Herman is going down. Sometimes options change or checkout is because of fever time, you think? Oh, okay, okay. That would explain it as well. Alrighty. Okay, so that that also is probably not a lasting consequence of the fact that I lost. Alrighty. I wanna. My goal is I I wanna I wanna end this stream winning this fight. I want I wanna kick Pee Wee's ass. Please. My original goal to end the stream was to beat the dance lady, but I ended up getting it a lot sooner than I thought I was at the rate I was going. No 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 no. <laughs> Let me actually fucking, uh... Fucking check my staff here. Alright, let's see. Get options to affect that affect my hostess or business in better ways. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I, I, I figured that, because, like, um... I can do stuff to, uh, to make the girls feel better if they're getting low on health. And I assume this is the smarter strategy. Like the only uh, no no offense, to other girls. I'm you're all, you're all you're all great. You have served me well. That sounds really bad, but um, <laughs> like I don't I I can't imagine there's there'd be any reason to uh, to use them over uh, over the higher ranked ones unless they were like much much higher level than them. But they're all kind of low for the most part. So I think it's best to just go with our full A team here. Good for giving the main girls break. Yeah, yeah, because like they did their job. Like they like if I if I had more uh, if I had more of the lower ranked ones, there wouldn't have been an issue with um with some of them just not being up to guys to, uh not being guys types no matter what. <laughs> I do like the fact that we lost this <laughs> this narrative. We lost to them once, but we're fine. They're gonna lose to us once and presumably be gone forever. <laughs> All right, I just gotta keep a very close eye on his meter. Poor, 
I am not putting Yuki on a poor man. We will, we will save Yuki for the big fish. And by big fish, I mean average. I don't think we've, I don't think we've seen anyone, uh, anyone more well off than average thus far. I, I'm so glad she's a host, that she's a gold. <laughs> like, I was genuinely concerned that that was going to be... I mean, we, we would have gotten a good, uh... Like, we got stuff for it request-wise, but, like, if if the hell it was to beat her in a dance-off had been for only that, I would have been a little peeved. God, he's already close to fever time. That's not good. Now we got an extension. That helps. Okay. An extension for a per poor person? Yeah, really. <laughs> I can't, I still can't get over Etsko being one of the better hostesses. That's actually kind of ridiculous. Oh shit! Did not mean to. Well, at least at least she's good with him. At least she's good with him. Did not mean to send Yuki to him, but that's fine. Um. Yeah, like if it's all about if it's all about like overall profit, I can't imagine it's very smart to just keep giving out expensive gifts. Cause I do imagine that plays a role in it. No, I was about to use that! Beaver, I, 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 I was, I was about to. They beat me to it. Uh, um. Session? Damn it. Ah, uh, too late. Oh God, damn it! No, I didn't mean to do that. Not expensive gift. <sighs> we fucked up again. We fucked up again. Oh, God damn it! No, stop giving expensive gifts! Why is that the first option? Game, please! Game, don't do this to me. I get too trigger happy. <laughs> oh, game! Breaking my balls, game! Breaking my balls! <laughs> We're not that far behind. I think we can pull this off. I just gotta be smart and not trigger happy. And not get picky customers! Excuse me! Cheer up, everyone. You give me fever. How come I asked the person didn't cheer up? Rude. It's other dudes fever down, does it? Okay. Let's see. Oh shit, I missed her signal. God damn it. That's what I get for trying to reach out at the same time. Uh sorry, Yuki. Didn't even see what it was. Thank you. 
お気に入りいらっしゃいませすごいタイプだよ<笑>いらっしゃいませどうぞお気に入りゲストクラス助かったわ God, I, don't, I totally don't think we're going to be able to pull this out again. Ah! Uh, yeah, because they just keep pulling that shit out. Stealing our customers. Wow. Oh, that's so not fair! Ah! Uh. Oh, what the hell? What? Oh! What the hell? Well, I don't think that was anything special, but that was very cute. Fever, 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 fever! God damn it. Of course, I do it the second someone asks for a check. Don't extend it? Hey! Yeah, yeah, get on the party, fair. God, like, is there is there even any point if they, uh, if they max out that meter first? Or is this a fool's errand already? Uh, well... God damn it, if I hadn't, if I hadn't accidentally given those gifts, I think we would have had them. Motherfucker. All right, well, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just going to reload. Yeah, I'm just going to reload this time rather than do another uh, dummy service. It's like, I, we, I ge genuinely, I think, like, that difference was small enough that I, I honestly think if I just hadn't fucked up and, uh, given those expensive gifts those, uh, those couple of times, we would have had them. Yeah, we can do this. This is totally doable. I have not noticed that, JC. <laughs> I do not partake. If other people have noticed, then hey. No, okay, we can do this. I am be no, no, no. I what? Opposite problem. Trigger happy on uh, on circle instead. All right, I gotta remember to actually change up my cast first. Like I almost did to do last time. All right. All right. All right. Come on. Third time's the charm. Huh? <laughs> Come on, we can do this. Do not give them expensive gifts. Sure. I hate that that's the default option. Ah. And I know it again. I know it's my fault for being trigger happy, but also like this game. This is you got. You got to think fast with this a lot of the time. Being trigger happy is theoretically good. Oh, he already got fucking picky. Picky, picky, picky. Picky! Fever, I am trying very hard to watch my fever. It's a, there, there's a decent bit going on, on on the screen, not to the degree of the, the dancing minigame, but, um, but I'm trying my best to keep an eye on it. 
because yeah, like that is the key. Like at the at the very least, hitting it before they do seems to uh Menu. seems to uh, mitigate the uh, the effects their uh, theirs has on uh, on our club. It's like anytime I beat him to it, we uh, we definitely didn't seem to have as big an issue with people uh, with him stealing our customers. It's like, in the actual context of this battle, what is happening when that happens? Is he, like, fucking outside with a megaphone saying, Hey, half off jello shots at my club! Come to my club instead! I'm saving it for now because his meter's nowhere near mine. I see that I can do it, but I'm gonna hold on. I'm, I'm gonna hold on until he's close to, uh, close to his. To, uh, to cuck him. Actually, no, we got it. You know what? We got a full house. Let's just fucking do it. Oh, wait, no, shit. No, we don't. No, we don't. That, that person's not here yet. Shit. My bad. Again, a lot going on. Try my best. You can actually touch the girls at my club! Uh, guess what? I blanked out for a second there. Almost missed it. Ah. Uh, then. Hey! Good job, Esco. Very good job. <laughs> oh, we got another one ready already. Oh, excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay. Now I'm gonna save it. This time I'm gonna save it and cuck him. He's getting close, so I gotta, I gotta watch his very carefully. And again, there's a lot going on. Uh. Fucking no! No! Shit, no, I didn't need to hit that! How are they suddenly... Oh! He was nowhere near it! Okay, never mind, that's a bad idea, because he can just get a jump on it all of a sudden, apparently. Is that not what that meter is? I assumed that that was what the meter was. I didn't think he was close to it. Motherfucker. No! God damn it! That is with the meter? Okay, well, it, it, it can get a significant jump out of nowhere then. Place your send off. Okay, yeah, I, th I think when I use it, when I use it, it pushes his meter back. It's something like that. Yeah, I don't need to. I keep telling myself the clock stops ticking down sometimes, and when I send them off is one of those times. And also when I'm selecting new people to go out. So as long as I, so I don't need to get trigger happy on those parts. Just gotta pound that into my head. God, they're winning. They are winning, but again, it doesn't seem... It's it's overall profit. So if he fucks up and wastes a shit ton of expensive gifts and shit, then we can still pull it out as long as we're at the same point by the end of it. Fucking goddamn it. Come on, give me some of my people back, please. Let my people go! Oh, I should not have given a poor person Yuki. I'm assuming that does have some effect on it. Like, you, like, you want to save your best hostess for the people who actually, uh... 
who actually have money. This slogan is what <laughs> we do what Majima don't. Yeah, Pee Wee was a uh, former head of marketing for uh, for Sega. Uh, uh, uh. God, look how many more guests we had than them. And yet they still got us. Uh, all right, four. Four. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You, you guys are cheaters. Yep. 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 All right, four. Guido Mista be damned. Lucky number four. Come on. I probably should have saved after I, um... After I, um, fixed my roster. But, whatever. In the time it takes to go back and save again. I don't, oh, that, that's, that, that's a quitter's attitude. Doing that implies I will fail again. No. No, I will not fail again. No. Come on. We're gonna do this. No! God damn. <laughs> Why? Curse my trigger happy button pushing. Please. Please. Okay. All right, come on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, never beat me, you dirty hedgehog! Oh, yes, I will! And also, just, again, don't give any expensive gifts. Do not. It actually can matter. Oh, God damn it! with Yuki again. How oh, well? Fine. It'll be fine. Oh, this again? <laughs> what is the point of this? <laughs> is there any point to this other than it's cute? <laughs> <laughs> what that Kuga thumbs up, though. You see that shit? Majima's so smooth. No wonder. No wonder every girl who works for him is going to end up falling in love with him. Um, uh, Ashtray. Took me a second. Also, fever time. Absolutely fever time. <laughs> you know what the point is, but you liked it? Yeah, it's very cute. I don't think it has any, like, actual function. 
but it is pretty gosh darn adorable. Now well, we're neck and neck this time. I'm about to use it again, I think. Like, fuck it, get his meter back down again. We've got a full house in here. That seems like the smart way to do it. Like I said, I believe that's what someone was saying. Someone was, I think, like, I believe I was told that typically in the regular ones, it's smart to just kind of save your meter and do a level three. But in battles like this one, they can do it too. Yeah, I, I, I can see why it's smart to just kind of keep pushing them back. Yeah, yeah, I, I believe the best is right. I think you just can't do a, uh, can't do exten extensions period when uh, when fever time is in effect. Uh, ice. Assuming it only shows up for platinum girls. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I would, I would say so. Maybe even just Yuki, since she was kind of our, uh, our number one. Did not mean to do that, actually, but that's okay. All right, never mind. We're good. Oh, uh, we're creaming him this time. Knock on wood. Oh, I actually probably should have used Yuki for that one. He's average. Uh, probably counts fever as an extension, possibly, yeah. Uh, Ashtray? It looks, it looks, it looks slightly different when she does it for some reason to me. I don't know why. Awesome, I'm totally about to use it again. Well, maybe not. Actually, no, I probably still should. He's getting close to one. Yeah, yeah, we'll still use it. I don't trust. I don't trust him to not. Actually, wait, 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 wait. We've almost, almost got it. That's fine. That's fine. I'm flying way too close to the sun. Okay. Now immediately, immediately do it, immediately do it. There we go. Get back down there, asshole. Yeah, he knows the megaphone ain't working this time. I ain't, le I ain't letting him charge up the batteries on that megaphone. He can fuck right off. We're in the money. Come on, honey. We've got a lot of what it takes to get along. Yeah, I am fucking him in the ass this time. That megaphone is busted. It is in bits and pieces. I'm in pieces, bits and pieces, and that's the way it'll always be. I can probably afford to give it expensive gifts now, gift now, with how well we're creaming him this time. He tripped and broke it. I want to spend more time with Dolly? Well, fuck you. She's a lovely lady. With an even lovelier daughter. Fire Emblem Heroes is having Robin dressed green, uh, Grima Robin <laughs> dressed as a werewolf. Oh, that's funny. That's cute. That's a cute idea. 
I probably won't be able to get it because I, I blew all my gems a while back trying to get the... Uh, I actually did successfully get it, but, um... Uh, Norian, Queen, Corin, or whatever the hell that one was. Also, he's totally about to get a fever time on us, but I don't think it really matters much at this point. Uh, then again, he is maxed out. We got extended sessions, though, so fuck you. Uh, that, the fact that he was in the same ballpark at the last minute is concerning, but I think we got it. Ah! Oh! Six million difference. Get fucked, asswipe. Oh, we creamed him. Excellent. That's what I like to see. Not even fucking close. Get fucked, Pee-wee! Pogu! Am I doing that correctly? I still don't know. <laughs> we did it! We won! We beat Club Bars! <sighs> this can't be happening! You guys are flies! Dumb beetles! I don't lose to beer insects! <laughs> totally worth it. Ah, be a good sport, Hino. You got stung. Buzz, buzz. There's no way this is my fault. Someone else must have caused this. <laughs> I? You're supposed to be my number one hostess. What the hell were you doing? You're worthless! Sir, I will thank you not to refer to Sailor Mars like that. I, I, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's about time I fired your sorry ass. I'll use you to pay to recruit girls twice as good as you. <laughs> I guarantee you I might win next time since she threw the fight. This battle doesn't count. Ha ha ha! Oh. Whoops. You're pathetic, Kino. Are you the big fish? Oh, are these the other owners? You guys! Huh? Who the hell are you? Oh. Yeah, yeah, these are totally all the other club owners. I thought there were only five, though. Why are there five more? Maybe the girl's an assistant. Or the, or the gentleman with the ear, the nose piercings. <laughs> I'm not sexist. He could also be a sexy assistant. He could work it. Majima-san, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Sukiyama, the founder of Five Stars. So you're the big bad boss, huh? Or, or no, maybe he... Okay, maybe he's like a... He's like the overlord. Yeah. <laughs> Can't believe I lost such a beautiful man. I mean, he's such an ugly asshole. <laughs> uh. I've had a trite description, but yes, that would be me. And here we have real talk. I just went to, I just went with Godot because he sounded smooth, but he said trite. So, so fuck you. It works. <laughs> Bullshit psychic powers win the day again. Oh God, so many people. I'm Kazuka from Club Jupiter. Mess with the five stars, you'll be in for a world of pain. Ah, oh my, so ominous. I'm Mishimura from Club Mercury. Go easy on me, will you? I'm going to call you Colonel Sanders, and there is not a goddamn thing you can do about it. I'm Kanahara from Club Venus. You wouldn't get a face this fabulous, would you? Um... It's like he tried to give himself the pompadour, but like just his hairline was receding too much, so it just kind of like flopped to one side. So the five of you call yourselves the five stars. Nice to put some faces to the names. <laughs> In any event, it was a remarkable contest. Your reputation as manager of the Grand is well earned, I see. Pompadour man is fucking gay. You can't give his other eyes. Yeah, I was gonna say his voice might actually need to change. He used the word fabulous. That automatically means. Mm -hmm. Yes, queen! In terms of financial and operational resources, Sunshine is vastly inferior to Club Mars. Nevertheless, you managed to win in spite of your handicaps. Yeah, it only took me four tries. You know, when all's said and done, maybe you five stars ain't such a big deal after all. Mm. <laughs> How presumptuous. If the five stars were digits, on a hand, Hero would only be the pinky finger. Ironic because he is the fat one. 
In fact, it's embarrassing to even call him our peer. If when he gets this burnout brings you such satisfaction, it speaks to how weak you truly are. Nani? How can you say that, Suki Yamasan, after everything I've done for you? Also, wait a minute. Yeah, he totally didn't introduce the girl. Who is she? I guess she is either an assistant or she's the secret actual boss. Also, what club, like, if it's the other way around, what club do you own, sir? Mercury, Venus, Earth. There wouldn't be a club Earth. Oh, if it's all the Sailor Scouts, you're the fucking moon, aren't you? Oh, fuck off. I hate this game. <laughs> All you've done is drag the name of the five stars through the mud. I have no further need of you. Oh, let's not be hasty. Give me one more chance. I'll do anything. She murders Sukiyama, becomes the boss. Yeah, like I get that vibe from her because she's just kind of, she's just kind of chilling. And they made no mention of what hurt. Like she didn't even get an introduction. Hmm. Thank you for your service. Now, goodbye. No! Oh, hey, hey, hey! That's your cue. Oh, shit. Is she like your fucking personal assassin? Yes, sir. I'll take care of it. Well, now, aren't you happy, Majima-san? You have one less rival. This is a rather shame that the five stars are in fact down to four thanks to Hino's buffoonery. Kotomi, would you like to join our ranks? A gracious offer, Tsukiyama-san, but I feel I am better suited to the task required of your personal assistant. Oh, you're totally gonna end up being the actual final boss, ma'am. You are way too, uh, way too sus. <sighs> I see, what a shame. Majima-san, what about you? Would you like to join the Five Stars? It seems there is a vacancy and you would certainly qualify. Sure, only to get kicked to the curb the moment I disagree with you. <laughs> uh, disagree? Couldn't make me join you for a truck full of crack. A truck full of cash. God, I'm sorry. I'm tired. It's Team Galactic. <laughs> it could also be Team Galactic. <laughs> I like the Sailor Scout. I like the evil Sca Sailor Scout theory better. Kotomi, Usagi trying to reach, kind of reaching for the names there. Yeah, I think the naming thing might be a bust, Nathan. Because Ray and I, while they look very similar, do not actually rhyme at all. <laughs> I think I think the reference begins and ends with the um with the uh, the planet names. And the fact, I don't know, the fact, the fact that uh, Hino is Hino is interesting because Ray was Ray Hino. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see how the rest of their. We'll see if we get full names for the rest of them. If I can pick out any more references. That is most unfortunate. In that case, farewell for now. I look forward to Club Sunside's continued progress. Oh, but do be careful. If you do anything to truly anger the five stars, there's no telling what might happen to you. Ooh, why is this more interesting than the main plot? No offense, Makoto. I do want to help you. you you've got a very raw end of the deal right now. But also, intrigue. Tsukiyama the Five Stars, huh? Kizuka, Mizumura, and Kanahara. You forgot you were supposed to come back, Java? Oops. Looks like things are going to get a little busy. I would never have thought the Five Stars would show up at our club. All places. They make one hell of a happy bunch. That assistant, she's kind of creepy, right? She's totally the final boss. I mean, she is pretty, but still, totally a final boss. <laughs> well, I'm just glad we won. This would be fantastic for our reputation. Yeah, at least we're still in business. We're gonna have some tough battles ahead. But we'll get through, as long as we stick together. Like a team. Yes, yes. Hey. Um, excuse me. Oh, hey, yeah, what's her name from Club Moss? What's the matter? Would it be asking too much for me to work at your club? <laughs> hey, girl. Huh, you beat Club Sunshine? The more one guy from Club Mars wants to work here. Yes, he knows something's gone now, and I don't think Club Mars will be open for business for a long while. I guess he did just take up, um, <laughs> just up and take off. No, no, not A. I. <laughs> A. I. All things considered, I doubt he's ever coming back. Besides, I really want to work here. You guys are f 
fun. Well, look at those assholes. Why is that? If you're gonna be, if you're gonna actually be important, if, if again, seeing how the subplot has actually ended up unfolding, I'm uh, <laughs> I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna do my best to try and actually start differentiating these girls' voices a little bit, because <laughs> thus far they've all just been varying degrees of customer service. Because it seems so much fun here. Fun? You mentioned that before, didn't you? That's right. That's what I thought the other day when you saved me, Majima-san. I knew it must be a great place to work for the fun atmosphere you guys create. Really? I doubt we're all that different from any other club out there. Not true. Club Sunshine is really friendly and cheerful. And right now, there's no place I'd rather be. When I am with you, there's no place I'd rather be. No, 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 no. No place I'd rather be. Please, let me join you as part of your team. Well, I do like that song. If you want to be here that bad, might, might want to get your head checked, but it's all good. Welcome aboard. Looking forward to seeing you in action, Aichan. Yes, finally, a cute girl who's not so quiet and plain. What the fuck, Yoda? Yoda! She's right there! What do you mean by that, Yoda-san? Yeah, the five stars don't stand a chance against a cutie like I, Chan. Say goodbye to quiet and plain around here. Oh my god, you're both dicks. Also, yeah, Hina's totally gonna get shot in an alleyway. You too, Majima-san. You guys are so mean. See? This place is really fun. I'm looking forward to working with you. Get fucked, Yuki. No, no, get fucked, Yuki. I like Yuki. We recruited I, and yeah, sure enough, she's a platinum. <laughs> uh, Yoda not here right now. They're just fucking with her. I know they're just fucking with her, but also, dude. <laughs> no bully. <laughs> I've actually, I've actually endeared to this girl now. No bully. Only I'm allowed to bully her. All right, we got a new member of the team. Let's make a fresh start and figure out how to work better together. Yeah! Blocks have been unlocked for the thug style. Oh! Oh, you really want to do this shit. Oh. Okay. All right. I I, I knew there were going to be benefits to, to doing these since these, these are technically optional, even though they don't fucking feel like it. But I was not expecting something to that degree. Like, this is what- this is what unlocks those locks? Oh my god. Jesus. Oh yeah, we're going full ham on this shit. Now I'm really sorry. Now I am. Now I'm really sorry I didn't do more of Kyrios. Cause who knows when the hell we're gonna be able to get back to that. Like I said, he was he was fleeing the fucking city. Ah! <laughs> we defeated Club Mars, but there are still four more left in five stars. Club Moon is the top club, so we should save that one for last and focus on the other three first. Yep, show sure enough. Oh, Usagi, why? We've now taken on Jupiter, Mercury, and Venus. Progress to the story, Cabaret Club battles by increasing the numbers of hands in each area, gain up more. Okay. Do I actually tackle them in any order, fucking Mega Man style? Or is there a hierarchy? It's still weird that we went after Club Mars first, but whatever. Again, knowing the, uh, the, the planet picking order, you would think, um... You would think Venus would be the first one, but hey. Or no, Mercury. Good. Why do I keep mixing up fucking Venus and Mercury? It's Sailor Moon's fault for also introducing them in the wrong order. Huh? What's going on, Aichan? You're looking around the club kind of funny. Uh... Oh, Majima-san. Have you ever thought about some upgrades for the interior here? Upgrades? Yeah, we used to do that at my old club. We change the interior of the club once in a while. It really helps keep it fresh, and it's fun. Oh my god, can we customize this shit on top of everything else? <clears throat> I gotcha, you know, that sounds pretty slick. But how do we go about doing this? No worries. I can get a hold of the guys who did the work for my old club. I think they'd be happy to help us. Hey, that sounds great. Guess I'll give you a shout if I feel like changing things up. <laughs> yep, I bet they'll even do it for free. They used to do it for free whenever I asked them to, for some reason. I have no idea why. Aye, John, that's some black magic. Interior chocolate. 
Oh my god. I use completion points to get it, really. Let's go visit the shrine, yeah. Well, wait, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. You don't understand. Chocolate. What has been tormenting Yuki this entire goddamn episode? Chocolate on a dashboard. Let's fuck with her. Hi. I am the real CEO of Yuki Bullying. And I say we torment her with her worst fear. <laughs> <laughs> also, holy shit, eyes grooving. Wow, this place feels completely different. Just let me know if you want to change it again. This is not what I was hoping for, actually. I mean, it does look nice, but <laughs> I was hoping for more literal chocolate. Why is it chocolate? What is with you and the melted chocolate, Majima-san? White people. Java, what the... Java, what do you think a white person is? Lay sick birds on this toe, girl. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. All right. Well, that was fun. God damn. I, um, I was not expecting this, uh, <laughs> this fucking side story to be, um, to be one that fun with the minigame mechanic. And two, just, um, <laughs> the fact that yeah, I feel bad because obviously I care about Makoto like I want to get her out of uh, whatever the fuck she somehow managed to get into but also bullshit weird evil sailor scout cabaret club AU <laughs> unlocks a new hostess oh shit that's right I can literally just fucking buy new hostesses are there any are there are they any good though is the thing I mean I guess something else like, again it always it, it helps to have even if they're not that good it helps to have a full B team employ a new host at club sunshine must unlock it where clubs are why can I not do any more? It doesn't say anything about a new rank, but maybe I need to have a new uh, uh, another higher rank. It's weird. You would you would think they would like the uh, is the name them is the name itself really a spoiler? You would think. But the I'm oh uh, Nathan, I am always a jackass. You know this. You've been here long enough. Yeah, that's weird. Oh, oh, do I have to, like, pick him up first? <laughs> well, this is convenient. Excuse me. Yeah. You work at Club Sunshine, right? My name's Seiko. I'd love to work for your club. Seiko-chan, huh? You seem like you'd be really popular in our club. We'd love to have you. Ooh, gold already. Okay. So we can actually get good people from this. Looks like we got a real winner. I'm gonna have to step my game up. Alrighty. Let's see. So how does this work? Do I have to just... I guess it, I, it, it would be weird to just, like, keep turning around having new people be there. And what... Is this random or predetermined? <laughs> just the actual mechanics of how this situation is working out is really funny to me. Excuse me! Yeah! You're of Club Sunshine, right? My name is Shinomi. Can I work at your club? Are you literally just the exact same model? Real talk, I didn't look at her closely enough. This is not me being racist, I promise. Like, just literally, are they the exact same model? Shinomi-chan, huh? You seem like you'd be popular at our club? Sure, we'd love to have you. Oh, now we got a silver. Okay, it's totally RNG, isn't it? Why would they give me a gold and then a silver? Ah, uh, looks like we got a real winner. Gonna have to step up my game. <laughs> this is Xenoblade Two all over again. If this is random, this is just Xenoblade Two all over again. Excuse me. 
Yeah. Club Sunshine, right? My name is Juku! Can I work at your club? <laughs> Let's pull Dahlia! I can't tell. I'm not, I, 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 real talk, I genuinely have, like, face blindness to a degree. Like, I can't recognize people in real life. So, like, I'm not paying a clip. I can't quite tell if they're all the same model or not. It would not surprise me if they were. Because these do just seem like little extra bonus people to essentially, like, uh, fill out your roster and have a B and C team. Not the same? Okay, yeah, I don't think this one's the same. The first two may have been. I'm not sure. Jimko Chan! Ha! <laughs> you seem like you'd be popular. Yeah, I, I got it. Silver again. She brings a teddy bear with her. Oh, no. <laughs> Looks like we got a real winner. She's got to do something about that creepy-ass bear, though. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, I'm sorry. I did it wrong. Nyak, 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 nyak. I guess I'll, um... Yeah, I got enough. Yeah, I'll, I'll try it. I, I want to at least get, like, you know, the other, uh, design option. Hey! Yeah. You're at Club Sunshine, right? My name's Shizuka. Can I work at your club? Shizuka! Yeah, you got a sexy look. Ooh, another gold one. Very nice. You fucking love the DR anime dubs. They're so awful. They're awful, and I love them. Majima vs. Monokuma would be cool. That'd be a good fight. Majima and Monokuma for Smash. That's what's keeping up the four kids' spirit of the days. Like, it's so weird. Because it doesn't feel like... It's, it's not censorship or localization necessarily. It's just like... It's like a borderline ghost story shitpost stub. It's so weird. Like, I don't know why those dubs are the way they are. My name is Shiho. I think I can work at your club. Hi, Shiho. I don't think this is a good line of work for you after the Kamashita incident, actually. Yeah, I'm curious. Like, I, I genuinely wonder if that's RNG or not. It's like, the fact that I got a gold one first, and then I got a bunch of silvers, and then other... Uh, I don't know. That's interesting, but whatever. I said, it's, it's, it's definitely good to have more people. The, strat the strategy definitely seems to be to, like, um, you know, just rotate people out as needed. And then have your, uh, your absolute A team. Thank you for not finishing that one, Java. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate that you knew better. Uh. You see, you are a good guy. Strawberry? I fucking love strawberries. Let's see it. Oh, it's pretty. <laughs> Wouldn't call it strawberry. Strawberries are red. This is pink. This is nice. A nice Valentine's -y Day feel, almost. We can fuck with that. <laughs> we can fuck with that. We don't need to mentally torture Yugi when it doesn't even look that much like chocolate. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, goddamn, this is gonna be a, uh... This is, this is gonna be a hole. I apologize, uh, I apologize in advance. I foresee probably episodes for, like, the next week. <laughs> <laughs> being mostly this fucking club. <laughs> um. Yeah, how dare they? How dare they make a, 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 a fucking minigame, essentially, that's this fucking fun. That's actually rude. That is actually a problem. Wouldn't have it any other way. I beg the... the, the <laughs> The amount of people watching the Yakuza videos begs to differ. But hey, whatever. As long as we're having fun. And like I said, we will still have the, uh, the Final Fantasy X interruption this week. Because it's my birthday! I'ma do what I want! Alright. Well, as much as, I as much as I would love to keep fucking playing this, honestly. Get deeper into this, uh, this storyline, essentially. And see if, um... I'm, I, like I said, I'm curious about the order. I wonder. 
Let me let me see if I can at least see like who we're targeting. I'm, or I, I forget if we select the targets or not. Okay, yeah, no, sure enough, yeah. Yeah, no, we can do it in any order. That's interesting. Want to make more sex just here? Got two seconds later, Java. <laughs> I don't know about that. It's probably for the best. All right. Maybe I just dropped off mail in the middle of the night. What the fuck? Oh, that's weird, Nathan. Like regular, regular US, regular USPS, or like was it a FedEx or UPS truck? Even them delivering this way would be weird. I assume you're on the West Coast at least. One o'clock in the morning mail delivery is a little weird. Not too many people are vibing with Yakuza. Yeah, yeah. Again, it's just because it, I, I, it's just it's a longer game. Clearly, like that much is already obvious. There's lot. There's lots of chunks where not much is going on. And uh, my voices have been lackluster. I know. <laughs> But whatever, like I said, as long as, as long as the people who are sticking around are having fun, I'm having fun. They're the they're, they're the ones missing out. It's fine. That's what Ace Attorney on the weekends is for. Everyone loves Ace Attorney, myself included. I am anxious to get back to that. We did leave on kind of a cliffhanger, but not right. Also, also school is back in session. That's a very good point as well. Secret. Yeah, I keep forgetting about that. Yeah, like lots of people, lots of people are younger or or just in college. And school is back. School probably shouldn't be back in session, at least not fully, but it is. So yeah, that would all that would also explain it. But yeah, whatever, whatever the case, it's fine. Anyone who is interested, these are all I, are, these are put up on YouTube. Obviously, let's just watch too many Mickey Mouse on weekends. Java, please. <laughs> no. On that note, it, uh, speaking of Ace Attorney, I apologize in advance. On um. What, on uh, Saturday, when we're when we're doing that, I will most likely be ending super early. I either ending super early or minimizing a uh, Google Chrome window in the corner because I really want to watch that Guilty Gear live um, that that Guilty Gear live stream <laughs> just to at least see the new character trailer. They're doing a bunch of like exhibition matches and cool shit, and I do want to watch that too, but that's not quite as important. But yes, we're gonna, we're gonna have a Guilty Gear interruption at some point on Saturday. I apologize in advance for that, but I, I wanted I want to know who the next character is. I'm in the hole. I am fully in the hole. Blame Java for showing me that lecture. But yeah, I'm gonna have to think about what uh, I'm gonna have to think about what order to go in. I'd I, I'd, I'd replicate proper Sailor Moon introduction order, but um, doesn't doesn't quite work since we already got Mars. But okay. More like guilty beer, because I gotta be drunk to enjoy that shit. Guilty queer? I don't know about that. Uh, 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 Kai seemed pretty gay, but then, surprise, he's married with a kid now. So I can't, I can't speak for how gay Guilty Gear is or is not. Thus far, it does not seem to be too gay, unfortunately, so no. In fact, not guilty queer, as far as I know. But who knows? I like I, again. I I did buy um buy XR. I just have to actually play it at some point. Eh. All right. Enough rambling. Enough talking about other games. <laughs> it's almost one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> love you. Love you guys. Thank you all for coming out. We'll be back tomorrow with more. Uh, I what what I don't know what this game was supposed to be. I don't know what this game is supposed to be, but it's not about Yakuza. This is just, this is Barbie dress up simulator and I fucking love it. <laughs> Nighty night.